What's up, guys? How are we doing? My God. Oh. Okay, so <laughs> how are you doing? How are you doing? Yeah, there was something that's been bugging me. It's bugging me a little bit here. I've not opened, but I've not done it yet. Okay, so for today, um, there's a few things that I want to do. Uh, mainly, I want to make sure that I start picking up getting the botanist as well as the miner because I kind of need them for some of the um, the FC stuff, uh, especially like the workshop and all. So that is one of the things that I kind of want to do. And I also want to do some of the quests. Uh, we got um, Matthias in FC chat who also needs to unlock a few of them. Uh, so I'm not going to be spending all of that. Uh, what I did do, zoom in a bit, uh, is I got some of these uh, tomes. So we got like 1500 of them. And let's get over. Let's take a look here. It seems like I do have all of the accessory now. Could really use the weapon, some of the gear. Like, I like the cleavers. I think the cleavers are fun. Uh, and I do believe that on my white mage, I got a 130. Yeah, I do. Uh, so. And then, once I have the weapon for my assassin, my ninja, I keep saying assassin. It is actually a ninja, right? I kind of want to make sure that we start getting the gear. Uh, and I don't think I have enough points for that. Though. Let's talk to this person over here. And go with... Yeah, it's all of the accessory. How expensive is this? That's quite nice, though. The bonuses are quite good. Uh, I need them both. Let's go with the daggers. Kind of wondering how they look. 600 points, which is quite a lot. Now, if I need to make a selection, and it, and I do, I, I think the ninja gear looks quite nice. You know? Ooh, I like the daggers, actually. They look cool. Make sure that's safe. So 130. They're both 130 now. Let's take a look on how would the ninja gear look. Not that one. This one. Ooh. Oh yeah. That is sick. I like that. I like that a lot. Uh, and let's take a look at the white mage stuff. Also, why is these weapons over here? Like, this, they're 110 and they still cost, like, a lot. Oh, because they kind of look good. Okay, that's good to know. Maybe the 130 gear is not that... Yeah, they, they kind of look nice. I, I do want to keep them. Try on. Yeah, I... I kind of like that, but I think we go for the ninja one first. Uh, no, not there yet. Uh, so we'll go and do ninja gear. I, I, I like the ninja gear more than the, the other one. Let's start with, I think the top. And how does the... Can we just get some gear on, please? I really do not like the helmet. Could I not get, like, trousers? Maybe, maybe shoes, then. Dexterity is going absolutely up. Which I quite... Uh, let's get the shoes. Let's get the shoes. And uh, let's equip them both. See, it, it, it... Yeah. Yeah, okay. Well, we need the gloves still. But damn, it looks nice. I like it. I like it a lot. Yeah, I do. Uh, only have my warrior leveled up. So, um... Okay. Uh, I can go healer then. Okay, so that brings my ninja to 120. 
uh, also, um, which, uh, yeah, let me fix if you enjoy that stuff. Uh, and let's, uh, let's ban this fella. RMT activities. Sector. Uh, what, what the fuck is that? Oh, cool. Okay, got myself a little kitty cat. Who gave me that? Thank you. It's so nice. Oh, let me see. Let's use that. Uh, minion. Ooh. Body. Uh, minion, 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 minion. Click one. Is that a kitty cat? Is that... It's a wine of Chloe. What the fuck? It's obedient. Oh, that's how I like my minions. You know, they listen. I have a, a, I have a obedient uh, watermelon. Independent. So they wander off like that. They, they do... Uh, Mod pie. I like the mod pie as well. Uh, yeah, sure. But uh, I'll drop after we are done. No. Just say. So you yeah, know. Alright, let's let's drop into voice. Uh, Final Fantasy. Go into group two. I do need to figure out his audio levels, though. Uh, um, in group two. So what I need to do is I need to speak to that person. But then also, I, I figured out there's another quest that I I didn't know about. And I kind of missed, apparently. This is a level 17, Ill-Conceived Venture. And I'm going to assume I got this because I got myself a retainer. Several adventurers have difficulty summoning their retainers, should you wish to offer assistance. You find his troubled soul in Limza Liminza. Well, not too difficult. The rewards will be the same regardless who you help. Do not hesitate to aid adventure of your choice. So we'll get like six ventures. Um, the ventures we can use to... I haven't joined the FC Discord. Let me find it now. Okay. Um, it's just on the final fantasy. There you go. Uh... So let's let's go with this. Bloody hells, I ain't got the time for this. Friend, you look like the helpful sort. Mind helping a meddling soul to ask for a hemp mind handling a menful ta oh, oh, a, a meddlesome task for a man in need. Me retainer, I reckoned. Oh, okay, so yeah, okay, I, I know this quest. Me retainer. He reckoned he... I hate this type of typing. Why did they do this to me? Okay, w w fuck that stuff. Uh, what it look... Uh, what it took to go on a venture in Sol Skull Valley? With not more than what I gave him. But now the little bugger's up and vanished. Probably got eaten by a dodo of some sort. And he wrote... If you happen to come across the remains of a western... <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, that turned dark like crazy. I like it to inform the local watch so that it can set about notifying its. Diff okay, wow, this game? That. Diablo could learn a thing or two about this, I can tell you that. Um, let's take a look. Uh, where do they want me to go? Is there anything else I need to do? So yeah, I got myself a retainer because I, I needed to sell some of the FC stuff. I'll show you. It's it's not it's not going to be pretty. Sorry for that. It isn't. Uh, summoning bell. 
that, that's the one selling daily fix he doesn't have a job yet and that's why i want to have him as i just randomized him i i, I just i don't i don't really care how my retainers look i'm sorry i'm not into pageants at all um but you yeah, know it is what it is uh let's go to illport assist the retainer And we could actually get the dodo. I'll be using this minion because I got it from someone. And I kind of want to make, you know, I like getting stuff. It's funny as hell. Look at the walk. Love that. There we go. Now let's hope the retainer isn't dead yet. A novice retainer. Oh wow, yeah, it, you know, I kind of forgot getting a retainer, that's the old truth about it. Like, I didn't need to, so why would I get one, right? <clears throat> I don't know what you think you saw, but I assure you that I had everything under control. What? The oath presumed me to, to be dead. Who do you think I am? Some wet behind the ears weakling? Yeah, you kind of are, mate. He could have at least shown some remorse for furnishing me with such poor equipment. That is true. It is his fault. Well, I'll speak of the Shagarian a moment. There you go. It is about bloody time. Do I sound dead to you? Fine. You're buying the first round. I love, you can actually set those um, retainers up to have like this personality. Like rough and stuff. I really like that. Because I did actually got someone that was like angry or something. And every time you summon it, like, what the fuck? What do you need? And he wasn't cursing and all. It's not a sailor like me. But, yeah. Uh, Limlian. Limlian, have, have mercy. I'm not getting paid enough for this work. I hope you treat your retainers with more respect, ma'am. Anyways, quarters dictates that I thank you for your intervention. To that end, I ask you to seek out a bunch of letters in the Eastern Hawk Alley. Tell her what you did, and I'll and I'm sure she'll reward you handsomely. Farewell. Oh, that little Matthew has actually found it. That's actually uh -huh. weird. Oh, wow, that's really low. Let me increase that. Hello, mate. How you doing? Hey, good, good. There we yeah, go. I can finally hear you. Quiet, so you probably need to turn me up. Yeah, I, I, re I just boosted you like 100%. Is it better now? Oh, it's perfect. Actually, it's spot on. Oh, great. Yeah, so that's perfect. Man. Well, welcome to the FC. Appreciate you joining. And your oh, return to Final Fantasy. It's always great. Uh, let's turn That's in this great. quest, Limsa, and then I need to speak to Maelstrom Command about the uh, in a Titan spot, and then I'm ready, set, and able to go. Um, as for the Odin, I'll I'll just let it go for now. Do it another time. I want to I want to progress through the MSQ. I got, I got a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight optionals one of them actually i don't think is very optional the legacy of alagan i believe that is the raids i do want to unlock raids at some point but that that brings in a bit of a story by itself so that might take me a while especially with me reading that is a joke uh let's go there let me turn in this quest and then i'll switch to my healer you you had a tank right Yes. Awesome. Also, where are you from, man? No, I'm from uh, California. Oh, cool. So I'm from Europe. The Netherlands. It sounds to me like you came along just in time. The last thing you need is another retainer dying during Avenger. I get it from your expression. You are not familiar with Avengers. Quite understandable. Now let me explain. No, let's not do that. Um, you just get tokens. You send them out on missions, and sometimes they bring you amazing stuff. Like, you, I've seen them bring in roofs. Roofs. Why the, Why would you bring a roof? 
You come across her roof and you decided, let me take it back home to me master. It's a roof. You can sell the roof, <laughs> which is nice. Or use it at, at the house. Anyways, let me talk to... Let me switch to my white mage. And let me get over to Millstrom Command. Oh, Titan, how I hated you during the extreme trial. Uh, aft castle. There we go. I think we spent like one and a half hours trying to beat Titan during uh, one of my skipping the night events. It was no fun at some point. We kept dying every time he just he pushed everyone off. It was so obnoxious. Ah, Lieutenant Dosen, your presence is most welcome. I'm... What the hell is that word? Chagrin? Chagrut? Char Chagrut. Whatever. I'm chagrin that you... That we must turn to you again to lay tight and low. I doubt. It's yesterday's news to you, but the Lord of Crags has returned from more ferocious and formidable than it was before. We cannot fathom how the kobolds were able to obtain such a vast stores of crystals. And in, in such short time, yeah, you have been slacking. Uh, we will learn the answer in the common moons, I suspect, but first things first. We need you to vanquish Titan before he and the kobolds have a chance to wreak havoc. Nimza Liminza, you have felt the primal before and we believe that you can emerge victorious once more. We have learned of the, a new etherite that will take you to the navel. It's a stain deep within the Gramamo mines. Not the most convenient of locations, admirably, but we'll have to cut you. Yeah, okay, so we'll just have to cut through the cobalts to get there. Okay. Please make all haste. The Titan's mere presence emboldens the cobalts, and it's only a matter of time before they move in force against us. May the navigator guide you on your way, Lieutenant. Ah, Lieutenant. I like that. So, what, what grand company rank did you actually achieve, uh, Matthew? Ma Matthews, right? Matthews. Matthew, Matthew. Matthews, Matthews. Yeah. Yeah. Did you actually uh, get to, yeah. like, the officer ranking? I think I got to the, uh, the second. Let me check. Yeah, it's, it's the uh, second flame lieutenant under Immortal Flames. Ah, cool. So you can actually bring in gear. Like, uh, last time I spoke to someone who last, was level 70 and like first private. He was doing faiths to get seals. I'm like, oh, you poor soul. Don't do faiths. Yeah, you can do faiths. Faiths can be fun. But if you want to go seals, then you go dungeon and you deliver them. Okay, let's fly into this mine. And once I attune to the crystal, we can actually go in. And I will do my utmost best not to let you die. <laughs> oh man, I love the flying in this game. It's so good. Flying is good, yeah. Yeah, it's, 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 it's what, you will never walk again. Well, unless you, unless you get to that certain point where you go into, wait, did I not go? Oh, I need to be in here. There you go. All right, let's deal with whatever is coming behind me. Take a look at my chocobo companion. Did you level? You're still level 7. Yeah, I've not been handling you well enough. Let's attune to this crystal. And that gives me some more seals. And that gives me... Yeah, the naval heart. That is actually a mission, right? Yep, building on done. the stone. Is it really a mission? I think it's just an unlock. Yeah, 
you see in the uh, duty finder, if you see in the duty finder, then you're ready to go. Otherwise, probably still need to talk to somebody. Oh, let's go. Um, I have it in a duty finder. I don't think it's actually an MSQ mission, but it's fine. Let's go. If your queue is up, I think we should have an instant party. Kind of hope so. So just making sure the story is telling you to, to do the naval hard right now, right? I don't have the story to, telling me to do the naval. Uh, MSQ 14. Final Fantasy 14. Let's take a look. Yeah, it's not it's not a story thing. Like the whole eater is a story thing, the striking tree and some other dude. Naval is actually not a story thing. But let's queue it up so we can get this going. Okay. Oh actually it's a group of eight? I completely forgot yeah. about that. It's a it's a ray party. Oh yeah, true. The hard ones are no, no the, the first one was a four man, right? Uh, I forgot, but maybe, yeah, probably. Let's take a look. Yeah, it's four man. Hmm. Cool. So you only have been playing the um, the tank, or what? What have you been playing? Yeah, pretty much only the tank. Have you been looking into other classes or, um, you know, it's just, you don't like them too much. You don't want to go through the MSQ, which, you know, makes a lot of sense. Yeah, well, I gotta carry one class to level 90 before I'm gonna do other stuff. Really? Okay. Yeah. That oh, I, 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 on one character, I mean, one class. I get sidetracked like crazy. I really get <laughs> sidetracked. Like, uh, currently, I got the white mage, got the tank, the, the warrior like you, and I got the uh, the ninja. And I want to be picking up during the stream the botanist and the miner because I kind of need something to, you know, do. Yeah, it's it's actually it's good to have one of each class type. Yeah. Uh, because I only play warrior, so you know. The people who play with me, they always have to accommodate. So if I if I also have a healer and a DPS, then you know I can accommodate others. So it's nice to have multiple classes, but I just want to make sure that I you know do one class well before I switch to another. Yeah, it makes sense. You know, I I like the rotation indeed. So here we go. Oh, here we go. Nice. Oh, I've, oh, that's so much faster. When I'm playing like my, my ninja, that's actually dreadful sometimes. Yeah, if you if you queue as a tank, usually it's uh, much faster. Yeah, and like the priest as well. I do I think this is the least good looking primal they have. <laughs> I re I don't know what they were thinking. Can I main uh, tank? Okay, uh, it's like uh, I. I've asked uh, my team to uh, let's go with tank. a medic gear too. Make sure that we keep up. I think everyone should now have the healing. Wow, really? Damn, dude. Yeah, I'm not a okay, quick summon. Why is he not going up? That looks like somebody's dead. 
Hopefully yeah, I did actually. Uh, I pressed him. Oh, you did? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I did actually pay attention to it. He's just like I think he, he, he could have been disconnected. Hmm. It's possible. Well, we do have enough DPS, so this should not be a huge problem. I think we are, for the most part, okay. Okay, see, the heart is already exposed, so I think we have pretty good DPS here. Alright, let's make sure we get him out. And once we destroy the hardest, we're in like the end of the fight. So this actually yeah. went pretty quickly. Yep, there we go. Hard oh, shed it. Yeah, you can jump all you want, I wait, another one died? The other tank? Yeah, A healer? Are oh, you no, got to be kidding me? <laughs> Catch him up. Yeah, I do. I will turn on damage mitigation, so you can uh, you don't have to heal me for a while. Yeah, I did rest. This part I hate. I have ten more seconds of damage mitigation, so you can heal others. Yeah, okay, like myself. I don't know what he's thinking. We need to go here. Oh, come on, guys. Guys. Pay attention. Yeah, that's me. Fuck. No, that's nice. That's just... I was right in the center of that. I love this sound, though. It's so good. Uh, I hate it when I'm the one. Okay, jump it down. Yeah, sucks to be him. Oh, I, uh, oh I'm Jesus down. Christ, what the hell? Oh, but that is almost down. They can probably DPS him. Let's see if I can get you up. I don't have the mana. I just rest. Everything is just expect. Once someone just starts dying, like the first one, it becomes an absolute nightmare. But he's done. Yeah, we got him. Nice. <laughs> oh, can you imagine how this was during the the naval extreme? Like we were doing it with the uh, with the Discord. So. <laughs> well, naval extreme is hard to do uh, uh, in a ran random party. You gotta yeah, we had like two randoms. They did okay. You know, wow, they really didn't want this. Let's greet the heck out of that. And let's. What's this? I level 80. Uh, greet it. Do you want the res or are you just going. Uh... Uh, sure, I can use the res. I'm looking at the, the weapon they dropped. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. Yeah, it looks nice. You know, some of these, they, they do absolutely look great. Do you want it? I don't know if I can trade it with you. Oh, I just Holy the... crap! Oh yeah, that looks fucking amazing. Damn. Um, it... Yeah, I'll trade it with you. Oh, you help me. Let's get out of the dungeon. You... I don't think you can be tra traded. Oh, if we can't, it, it is what it is, then I'll use it on my uh, my own uh, warrior. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, thank you for yeah. that. Uh, oh, no I'm going to there be... There are other better-looking better uh, weapons later on as well. Oh, man, that looks so good. I need to be... I definitely need to make sure I don't accidentally just give that to the, um, the Grand Company, dude. Let's get to my... What's my lowest level right now? I'll stay on my ninja for a bit. Awesome. So thank you so much for the party, man. Appreciate that. And um, I'm going to be going yeah. into MSQ 2.2. Any moment now. Moving the uh, the science into Revenstall. And hopefully we'll get like the raids. We, uh, we might just do some raids later if, if we can. If you would still be up by the time.
if you have Odin unlocked, uh, we can do Odin, but I have not done Odin before, so this will be a learning experience for both of us. Uh, let's take a look here. I do have it unlocked because that is that is just a, a regular dungeon. Yep, uh, yeah, I'll go uh, with I'll I'll join you. I'll... Okay, so uh, should we watch a video first? No, I don't first do that. Guide. I'm definitely not watching a video when I'm streaming. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, let's go. We just in. yolo it. It will be fine. You know, I think he does this one annoying attack where he does a lot of lightning damage. And I think it's not that difficult to fight. I've done it on another character in the past. So yeah, I think we'll do it. We'll do fine. Okay. Let's take a look how fast this will queue up and if I can actually talk to Uranger. Kinda I don't know. Well, I'll leave Uranger for what it is. I don't need some mid 17th century dialogue right now just prep myself to go with um uh, let's take a look what we could do or what i could do although uh, it looks like we just need one more healer and two more dps which should be relatively fast anyone online uh, he is in another world, so that's going to be problematic. Anyone on my friend list? No. Not a lot of people online. I was the. We still have the buffs up. Oh, let me just quickly. Oh, I did promote you to private, so you can act if if you. Notice we don't have any actions in the FC. You can just activate uh, the XP and the redux uh, reduction of teleport rates. And let me take a look uh, here. I don't know how to do it. I'm sure I'll look into it. Oh, if you open the um, the FC menu, and you go to actions. Like in like 16 seconds, both of them run out. So that actually is perfect timing. You just right click on the inactive uh, action and then uh, the heat of battle and you say execute action and then with the reduced rate you do the same. So it's, it's, it's very simple. So they're now both off. And yep, that's one. That's so, it's so, it's so easy. And that's okay. two. Good. And I will just make it my business to make sure we have enough of that. Okay, so that second healer is going to be... I knew healers usually are problematic. It's either online currently that I know of. Let's take a look. Uh, he's probably working. That's a bit of a shame, but oh well. You know, it is what it is. Do I get tomes from this? I don't think... Actually, yeah, we do. Not a whole lot. Restores targets HP cost one lily? I don't even have... That's awkward. I got the skill for the lilies. But I, I haven't reached the end. Like I didn't start with a Heaven Sword. So I don't get the lilies. So let's get that out of my inventory. What else do we have? Great Arrow Master. Secret of the Lily. Yeah, there we go. Secrets of the Lily, level 52. That's the one we need. Let's go... To Limsa. Just throw everything into my glam chest. Accidentally sell it. Yeah, not the best time to, you know, run 
the dungeons. Usually all of the people have done their dailies. So they don't need like the leveling. Hardly do the leveling actually. Well, I think it's because Odin is an optional quest. I don't know if it's part of the trial rulet. Uh, so the people who are running Odin are actual people who want to run Odin instead of trying to do their daily rulet. I think you can actually run it in there. I think. You can? Okay. I'm yeah. Not sure. Uh, X of the Kallax, let's take that. Ifrit's Rot and Garuda's Lift. And those Pioneer's Daggers, let's take a look. Yeah, rubbish. We want them. Go away. Don't do that. Do I dare to go to Ulda to take up the miner? I think I will start doing that. I just don't want to get the dialogue mis mixed up. Go to Ulda. Then minus guild. They're, they're usually so easy things to do when you're waiting for like a dungeon or anything. Just just do a bit of gathering. A bit of pocket money as well. Well, Mad Adventure, you stand within the Miners Guild, the place where seekers of the realm realm's mineral wealth gather. Wow! With a pickaxe and a sledgehammer, we miners work rock and earth that they might yield us ores, fossils, precious stones and more. If you have a mind of joining our ranks, you will be pleased to know that we currently are recruiting. Great riches await those with strong backs and knees and keen eyes. Never mind, you don't need knees for that. Sure. A decision you will not regret. You have just taken your first step towards striking it rich. I love being rich. To look at the lands around Ulda, one would be forgiven for thinking the regions barren for opportunity. But beneath the surface, the scene could be more different. There lies veins of copper, silver and gold beyond measure. For as long as he has dwelled in Taladan, man has availed himself of those vast deposits. Given rise to, uh, to a thriving mining trade, which forms the foundation of our nation's prosperity. Of course, the mining trade, as it is today, owes much to an event which took place some century and a half ago, namely the mad mitral rush. Oh, here we go, like the gold rush, but then differently. Never before had the Sultanate seen such an influx of uh, migrants. Endless fronks came from lands near and far, spurred on by the dream of discovering the mother load. Alas, a harsh reality awaited them. There was no mithril in the land. You see, the vast majority of those poor souls were miners in the name in name alone, and they possessed neither the proper equipment nor the training to realize their dreams. To make matters worse, the mining concerns who in those days held absolute power, did not sculpt to exploit them. Presented with a, gl a, gl a glut of unskilled labor, they proceed to fill every tunnel to bursting. A atrocious work uh, and atrocious work conditions soon became the norm. Miners were paid a pittance for back-breaking labor and saw not of the riches they unearth. 
Pushing to the breaking point, the workers band together to form the Miners Guild with the aim of improving conditions while protecting the integrity of their trade. Such as since then, we have sought to educate folk in correct mining practices, both to prevent accidents and to, cr uh, to curb the impact of our trade as upon the environment. Oh wow, also environmentalists are going to be happy about this. I trust you have a better understanding of what we do. All that is left is to commit your name to our role. Then when you are ready to do so, speak to me again and I shall guide you through the enrollment procedure. All right, so that is out of the way. Let's go to Gradania real quick. And let's do the other one as well. So we can just enlist after we've done Odin. Because we're still looking for... With one DPS and one healer shy. Let's go to Gradania. The botanist. So I will get a second retainer. And I will make one a miner and one a botanist. The monster drops I usually find is very easy to get by just... Killing monsters. It's not too difficult. But the mining, especially the nodes. The timed nodes, they're annoying as hell. Hello there and welcome to the botanist guild. What brings you here today? Hmm, interested in becoming a botanist are you? Then you've come to the right place at our guild. You can st uh, you can study under some of the finest botanists in the realm. And enticing proposition is not. So what you what say you? Would you like to add your name to our role? Sure. Excellent. Now you're doubtless eager to dive headlong into the nearest sub uh, scrubbery. But first, a brief explanation on the origins of the Botanist Guild. Our guild boasts a long history. Its roots can be traced back some 500 years ago to when our nation was still in its infancy. It was around that time that a precursor organization of, of our own was established to facilitate communion with the elements of Ah, but I suspect you're already, but you're already confused, not being forest born. Let me put it the way you, in a way you, your kind, oh my god. It's, that's in this day and earth, you cannot say that. You would understand. You take bush, you go take things from bush. You don't have to, I'm, I'm a white mage, I'm here as a white mage. I, I've, I've had the study of the elements. The twelve who doesn't belong to man. But the almighty beings known as the element He's going to be explaining the elements to me. God damn it. It's by their leave that we Gradanians dwell here in the forest. And it's by their leave that we receive its bounty. Ever since mankind settled on the twelfth wood, it has been necessary for us to obtain the elemental's permission prior to taking aught from their domain. Historically, this was a rather involved process in that only a Precious few could actually commute with them. Uh, specifically those conjurers blessed with the ability to hear the elements app known as hearers. Dude, seriously, I'm a white mage. I have had this lesson. In order to relay the elements. Elemental will to the botanist in a more timely manner. A new organization was formed with a hearer at its mouth and ears. This organization would eventually evolve to become the botanist guild. To this day, the guild employs the service of a hero who offers guidance to our members. Yet this is no longer our organization's sole concern. We also seek to pro promulgate, whatever, correct harvest uh, practices. This is practices which honors the will of those elementals. This is just like, if this is a cult. It's not a gatherous thing, it's a cult. And that, my friend, is the story of how our guild came to be. I trust you have newfound appreciation for our work we do. Now, with all this kind of elementals to commute, may I be wondering whether you're fit to join us. Well, you may cast such doubts aside. You will. You don't need to have 
You don't need to have been raised as a good forest born girl, yeah, to be a botanist. Nor do you need to know the secrets of foreign born salute, I jest. You just need to be health uh, you need to have a healthy respect for nature and the will to learn. If you honestly believe you possess such things, it would be my pleasure to recommend you to our guild master. Please wait a moment while I see to the formalities. Speak to me again when you are ready to begin the enrollment procedures. Yeah, great. So we got now two tanks, two healers, two DPS. Usually this should go fast. Let's hope it does. And we'll, uh, we'll face Odin. Odin. Give me fun. Is that it? Was there a mission about that? Yeah, Odin's Fort can be accessed via the Judy Finder. And we get some pocket money from that. I'm, I'm, I'm still waiting to reach a million. Then again, if I reach a million, I'll probably donate it to the guild. We're still trying to buy a larger house. Well, we're just giving it a bit of a rest because we've been bidding and bidding and bidding. And we have not been lucky so far. Which is a bloody shame. It is. Let's take a look. Oh, there we go. Let's send a wave to Mathias, who actually joined the FC in a second ago. <laughs> I thought you were already a member. There you go. Come on, how hard can it be to get two DPSs this time? Pretty hard, apparently. Yeah, usually that goes like that, but... Like tanks and healers, people usually don't want to do the healing, but I guess we were wrong. We could just go without him. <laughs> no. Well, I think Alden is a DPS check, so going without a DPS probably not gonna be yeah. good. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of necessary. I kind of don't want to teleport away because I'm going to be doing like the botany and the uh, mining stuff. But I also want to make sure I get in 2.2. Final mission of 2.1. Which I am on, I believe. Let's take a look. Quick, quick look. Yeah. Build on stone. We get uh, the book called A Realm Awoken. And then we're going to patch 2.2 through the maelstrom. Oh, and we'll be doing... It seems like a lot of the... Limbs and Limbs and stuff. So that's going to be a nightmare for me to read. Defenders of Eorzea seems like a Gridania thing. The Dream of Ice is... Cortis. Yeah, because we're talking to Dillamond again. And then it is... Before the fall part 1 and 2. Which I quite like. I like this post play actually. It's quite good. Ah, oh, come on. Do DPS. That's all we want. If you're playing. If you're watching this and you're playing on like. Aoife. Queue up for this dungeon if you're a DPS. I would really appreciate that. That. Oh well, it is what it is. Just wait. Uh, did I get items already? No, I did not. We can actually sell this. I think we got this weapon from one of those chests. Might as well just sell it to an NPC.
bad this is. Okay, let's sell that stuff. Here we go. I will do it you. Uh, also, out of my inventory, I usually just sell the stuff that have a shop selling price. I care about that. I want a very, very nice and tidy inventory uh, just sell it I'll, n I'll never use it anyways Yeah, dude, uh, one of the healers left. Uh, I don't think this is going to happen. Uh, that's fine, we can do it some other time. Yeah, I think that's good. It probably would be better if I'm in a more... American time zone, I guess. Because it's quite... I think it's like 2... How late is it? 2 a.m.? 3 a.m.? Uh, well, it's 11.40, 11, not too late where I am. I'm on... Uh, You're yeah, on the East Coast. You're on? Uh, West Coast. You're on the East West Coast? Coast. Be, yeah, East Coast would be 2 a.m. Oh, yeah, of course. It is, it's a lot. Wow, that's a lot of difference. It's like 50 minutes till 9 a.m. for me. I see, I see. Get that out. Yeah, yeah I think we'll just... we were still within the American time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but I think everyone just did everything they needed to do. And yeah. Let's get this rid of this. Get rid of that. Bat wings. Imp wings. I don't want these. There you go. Nice and tidy again. Okay. Yeah, so sorry. I think this is not going to happen. If the heels start dropping out as well. Uh, we've been waiting for like 22 minutes. But I do thank you for uh, giving it a try. And then I'll just go on and do some MSQ related stuff. And then later okay. I'll pick up the botanist and the miner. A bit further out. So I can actually get into some of those newer dungeons. I can't wait. Want to go into Heaven's Ward. So, I uh, appreciate you joining, mate. Thank you. And I'll, uh, I'll talk to you later, man. Yeah, talk to you later. Right, bye-bye. Alright, so let's go and do MSQ. Let me get out of this. I'm redrawing from it. And... Leave the party. It's not happening. Not happening at all. Odin of the Shroud. Let's turn that off. And let's go put that back on. Yeah, we will do this one. The Legacy of Allah at some point, but not right now. What I want to do is get my ass over to Minfilia. And start moving. We will probably talk to Orange. Just to get the hard mode of the... Uh, what's the, 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 the one with the Moogles? The... The, yeah, it's the one with the Moogles. The King Moogles. Um, this way, we can... Let's go back to my ninja. This way, we don't have to waste tickets. Uh, because we have to be here for, for a few times, right? Um, because Orange will also be the one giving you the missions to get to extreme dungeons. Science Supplier. What do you actually have? 
get that. I need to check those. Now, we actually got ourselves... Um, I got a link from a website that's extremely useful. It's like the Final Fantasy uh, 14 collection. Collect. And then um, that website is where you can find mounts, minions. And that's so much information. Is it one, two, three. Primal Awakening. Let's just take all of them. Because there apparently is an unidentified primal. Let's talk to him. When the scenery moon did vain, they sounded a blood-curling roar. A new primal had roused. The portest gave us to believe one whose identity yet lies beyond our ken. By thy hand, three primals have been vanquished. As each return, returned to the ether, it was observed that tremendous uh, foreshadowing this fourth grew in strength and frequency both. The being doth quicken, and in its and in time it shall become a scourge upon the land. Yet even as we ponder a course of action, a benevolent soul did arise, one who foresaw this threat. Though she be why can I not pronounce this? Tended in years. She is true of heart and steadfast of resolve. She would so solace solid thy aid? Solicit thy aid, thine aid. If thou art willing to proffer it, lest thou wonder, this maiden is of our order. Does did he at this end straightways consent that thou should assist her however so thou mayest <laughs> seriously <laughs> oh god as soon as thou art, uh, art able the high thee to wineport there thy petition dot awaits thee even now though Shalt for a certain find her vistage strikingly familiar. Yeah, that was so easy to read. Oh my god. Next up, Primal Nature. Like I said, I want to deal with this. I, 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 the less I talk with him in the future, it is decided the stands of the sign must evolve to swifting sand to unyielding stone. My place, however, is here in the lands of unending tragedy. Ere I must remain until the true nature of the primals is revealed un un uh, upon unto me. Actually, that wasn't too difficult. Many seasons did I toil to fashion a net across the vast realm. A net that catch not fish, but nuggets of wisdom more valuable, more valuable than gold. Yet even possessed of this hoard of knowledge, I cannot purchase all the keys to the confounding doors that bars my passage. Thus must I presume to unsheath the blade born of light. Thy is a strength that shattered the stoutest barriers and dot pierce that which obfuscates the infinite gaze of ordinary men. We have not the luxury of time required for my measured scholared pace. You should probably read up on how people nowadays speak, Mr. Scholar. For the Edel's nest is a stir, hissing with the news of Garuda's return. Here we go, this is going to be the first extreme. Her wings have grown even more violent, even more destructive. What lies beneath this sudden vexing of power? The answer may well prove a vital piece of the puzzle of the primal's existence. Mine eyes perceive a looming wall of strife, poisoned to clash down upon our cities without unrestrained fury. For the nuns, you must pacify the Lady of the Vortex. Yeah, so... 
every time. So it, it will go like Granu uh, Gr uh, Garuda, um, Titan to Ifrif. They will have the extreme dungeons. Swiftly now to the Adel's Nest. High Serpent Commander Helix will be... Uh, will have such details as thou needs to proceed. I shall await thee at the Walking Sands and pray for thy success. So what I'll, uh, what I'll try doing is I will make a sort of like a miniature event where we start doing the, the extremes. But I will most likely not use the full vault for that because these extreme trials can be extremely brutal. And last time we did it, we spent four hours clearing, no, actually more like three hours clearing two extreme trials. So I don't think that is what we want to do. It could be funny because we usually do have a good time doing it. But let's face it, the events lately have not been very busy. Yeah, busy is the right word. So if you are someone that uh, likes to help me with that challenge, then by all means do do join the Discord so you can actually queue up us. So the King Lives is going to be the hard version. Amongst Mughalkind, the legend of good King Mughalmog the Twelfth, dot tell of a wise and magnanimous ruler. Alas, the entity thus summoned put the lie to this imagine uh, imagining my imagining with his brief and decided on peaceful reign it was most disturbing for me to learn that uh, uh, d uh, learn then that the Mughal god have once more succeeded in placing their magic uh, potentate upon his fawny throne Mitek, the agent of chaos, dot lurk in the shadow of his deed. Only with the Asians gullyful intervention could they have called the king back from the ether with such haste. As ever, it falls to thee, to the blade born of light, to banish the paragon's dark ambitions over or from our realm. The twelve only know what dire power doth corrupt the savior of these gentle forest folk. Thy name has been called, Une. The more moderate faction of the Mughal had joined with the Order of the Twin Edda. It's again the Twin Edda. In an effort to open thy a path to the good king's domain. I bid thee make haste to the Edda's Nest and once more pledge thy aid in deposing this royal myth made flesh yeah well we will but not right now uh, the primal nature I need to talk to someone at the Edel's Nest I'm, uh, if I come across it I might other than that I'm, I, I probably won't not right now. I want to continue the MSQ. Which for me is already, you know, a nightmare to read. And I'm also starting to feel a bit hungry. Because I completely forgot to eat this morning. Building on the stone. So this is the final favor to ask me. This sounds so... Ending. Let us set aside the matter of this Asian until we have completed our move to the Rising Stones. There is but one final favor I would ask of you before I depart. I believe I mentioned before that my father was a member of the Alamigan resistance. The truth, however, is more complicated than that. As far as the Empire knew, he was their spy. He maintained and uh, he maintained the deception for night on half a decade, furnishing the resistance with vital imperial secrets, 
while feeding his pay his paymasters, subtly convinced misinformation. When he died some 15 years ago, my father left behind his journal, which I had closely guarded ever since. It contains every shred of information he and his agents could steal on what they believed to be the single greatest threat to Eorzea, the primals. Its wisdom has guided me through the years, though there is much which I still do not understand. It is my hope that Oranger will far. Oh my god, I have to talk to him again. The game really hates me at this point. Tell him to treat it with care. It is all I have left of my father. And I need to go back to Oranger. Well, then I'm actually glad we already got the missions from the primals. Now, uh, like I said, I want to take up the botanist and the miner. Because I want to have more things to do. Like, when I'm off. Now, luckily, thanks to New Game Plus, uh, which is, I think, like, I think under duty. New Game Plus. I am actually able to replay, like, the Marauder, uh, the Warrior, and then this, this, uh, this is Heaven's Sword, and then the others as well. So, we could do all of that. And I'm thinking... I want to make dedicated videos and I've, I've said on so many times like I want to do all of these and make small videos about their stories uh, and once I unlock all of these I can actually do that I also want to do the MSQ like again and then have uh, these AI voices nowadays just do the entire uh, story and I might pick up one of those voices just practice my pronunciation and you know still make it mine without you know people trying to use it for themselves if they do you know it's fine as long as they you know make a disclaimer anyways let's talk to Uranger. I thought he departed to what end dost thou linja yeah fine do it like that the father's final behest bequest the daughter's lifelong labor. It is no small thing to surrender such a cherished memento. Well, I... Well, I can imagine the distance pain. Upon mine honor, I swear to spare no effort in the study of these materials. Lest my lady's sacrifice be in vain. Une, this is... Are you serious? You're... You're... Next? Why do you call me? Just come to this place. This is Menphilia. Forgive me. Oh, she has departed to the Rising Stone. If if you have yet to... Once you have given the journal to Oranger, I bid you to come to the seventh heaven of the Reverend's Tall. Tataru will be... The, uh, Tataru will be there to show you the inside of our new headquarters. Assuming you have already attuned to it. You may wish to make use of our new Ephraite at Reverend's Tall. After all, it is right on our doorstep. And that I really like. That I really, really like. So let us head over to Reverend's Tall. Uh, we already attuned over there. Now we have in our inventory. Um, to wait until we transfer over. We have this item. And antique helmet and the uh, antique helmet can actually be used to I need to do something because something is not working here there you go it now is working again oh, I've been using the wrong one never mind there you go yeah, I sometimes do the, the, the yellow lines of the orange lines behind me. That's, that's like a bit of a recruitment message. I'm not good at recruiting. I just sometimes just post it. So if you have, it, it's like a helmet, you have a, a top and something else. You go here to this, this guy and go with artifact. Not the, uh, the other one. Never mind. Sorry. Not the artifact, the vintage equipment. 
And you can actually turn that in for the eye level 90 stuff. And I think this is the, the equipment you get from the story. So you can use it like, like this one. The, this is definitely the one that we have, right? The eye level 90 stuff, like the level 50 gear that you get. So if you forgot to place that into your armory, uh, you can do that. You can also just buy, say, this uh, warrior's item. Uh, let's go with the Valor Cor Coronet. Let's go back. And then you go to the this equipment. And it tells you it needs the Galleon Coronet. As well as a Galleon Arda, uh, Armor Augmentation. You will also get from dungeons. And then you get the, the level 45 one. Which I don't know why. Why you trade in... Oh, never mind. This is the eye level... 50. Wait, am I talking out of my ass again? It's, it's very likely that I am. Never mind. The eye level 50 is the item you... What the hell is this? Oh, this is for the Plugalist. Uh, or the Monk. This is what you get from your class quest level 45. Yeah, definitely. I see no reason why you do this. I don't get this. Actually. Like, I don't know. You don't have anything, but, you know, that makes sense. Like, maybe if you don't want to do all of the classes, but you still want to have all of the gear, you, you do it. Maybe there is a better way to use it. I, I, I think you can also sell these. Let's take a look if you can do that. I don't, I'm not going to send you on a venture, mate. Let's say from inventory. No, you can't sell these. Never mind. It's fine. There we go. I, I just don't know what you do with it. Like, can someone explain to me what is the purpose of it? Now, other than that, I do like this area. Looks quite good. Let us... Uh, ooh. Nice. That was a nice looking mount. Anyways, let's talk to Tataru. Oh, Une, you, uh, you're here. Good, good. We were all wondering when you'd show up. As I was just telling your restif, restif receptionist there, I'm pleased to inform you that all the documents have been prepared and all signatures signed. The Rising Stone is officially yours. I like this gear, though. Splendid. From this day forward, I will spend no effort in seeing that it is as welcoming and comfortable a home for us as the walking sand ever was. That said, this is all somewhat intimidating, is it not? So many unfamiliar places and unfamiliar faces. Taking the odd looking fella over there, for example, he's been eyeing us most suspiciously ever since we arrived. I cannot help but wonder if we are truly safe here. <laughs> yeah, we don't know him at all. Don't know him at all. I don't know who that is. <laughs> he usually has some sort of helmet on, right? Yeah, I love that guy. I really think he's great. Look at him go, man. It's high-born stuff on. Ah, that man I can't say. I spoke to him myself, but rumor has it he's come to hunt for ancient treasure in the Crystal Tower. I think this is how you get to the raid. You've seen the structure uh, I speak of, no? It'd be hard to miss that massive pillar of shining crystal that looms high over the land just to the southeast of here. If details are to be believed, it's a remnant of some ancient civilization. The details remain a mystery. And that's no doubt why it's drawn adventurers and scholars from all over looking to unearth the secrets. The manor over there is no exception. 
And if my instincts are true, he knows more than most. If you're curious about the tower yourself, you could do worse than to talk to him and see what he knows. And that gives that blue quest. Why, if I weren't otherwise occupied with my duties here, I'd have half of my mind to join you. I might, I mean, just look at it. I can't scarce begin to imagine what wonders lie inside. So they're really pushing this on you. Why, that's wonderful to hear. Rest assured that this receptionist will work just as hard to see that our efforts do not skip a beating despite a beat despite the relocation. And with that, Une, I do believe it is time you officially announce your presence to everyone inside. The dissident and the others will surely be overjoyed to see you. Oh, they shall. Of course they are. Of course they are. It's marvelous. The Crystal Tower series quest can be available from the Outlandish Man, and we have it. In order to progress the main scenario, you must first complete certain quests in the Crystal Tower series. While you are granted a respite from your duties as a scion, use your time to probe the depths of the Crystal Tower and see then what ancient secrets may be gleaned. So it, it, it is a must. It is a must for you talk to this guy who apparently has a third eye at his forehead see if he has something to say uh, it is saint coins find to which you must travel seek out a man known as a rambrus and learn what treasures and dangers wait you oh, he is so kind so kind so uh you should be I think he's in here when you get actually the quest. Like I picked already, I picked up all the quest errors here. Uh, look at that, we we saw two wolf fangs for 37 gil. I'm 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 rich. Into the rising stone we go, and with that, I think that is the end of patch 2.1. And we actually have the Stentred, there's some other guys, there's um New Mother, Infilia. Some dude we actually fought. Uh, I believe we fought him. Like some mage. Stola. Alphinod. I like Alphinod's role in the future. I, I still now I, I still now know where we go and, and what, what will happen. Uh, and once we reach like post Heaven's Ward, that's when I get blank. I don't know. These are the guild guys who helped. Yes, Minfilia. That look good. Very happy I got the top. Well, it is certainly spacious. Today marks a new beginning for the Signs of the Seven Dawn, for today we declare our independence. We shall henceforth be holden to no nations, but serve all of Eorzea's people proudly and openly. But this does not mean that we will sever our ties with the Eorzean Alliance. On the contrary, the Indicident and I shall endeavor to strengthen them. Rest assured, however, that uh, we shall not permit political considerations to influence our decisions. Our identity remains unchanged, as does our cause. We are the signs of the Seven Dawn, and our single purpose is to safeguard the future of Eorzea. For Eorzea. I still think it's sad that these moments aren't voiced. 
Now a lot is going to be voiced and it will actually start happening quite soonish. A moment of your time, Une. I would speak of Eldibus. Eldibus. Oh. Pardon my intrusion, my lady. But the matter which brings me will admit no delay. Mine every attempt to contact the student of Baldassian had been met with silence. No one will respond? How odd. Allow me to try. No response. Surely they would not ignore us. They have never yet, my lady. I fear we must assume the worst. No, no, I will not believe it. An outpost, perhaps, but not their headquarters. Their wards are beyond circumvention. Had they come under attack, they would most certainly have risen, uh, raised the alarm. None would penetrate their sanctum unnoticed. But for those who lack the gift and the knowledge both... Oh no. Contact their agents in the field at once. If all has befallen the students of Baldassian, uh, they may know of it. Though, though the thought of it pains me, until such time as we have evidence to the contrary, we can but assume the worst. Accordingly, we must need seek another source of information on Elidibus. It's possible that others in the homeland are possessed of such knowledge. Be fairly warned, however, they are unlikely to yield it unconditionally. Do what you must. Yet another unforeseen and unwelcome event, uh, development. What could be next? Oh, uh, I wonder. A visit from a crimson clad Asian, perhaps? Or oh, uh, Osha? Or Push? And which of our allies will then fall silent? For a time I thought we had gained the upper hand. When you shattered the crystal of darkness and cast it out, Lala Brea. I... La Habrea. I keep saying La Habrea. I don't know why. I dared to hope that we would... Uh, that we had found a way to rid ourselves of the Asian menace. But I was wrong. He endures and may yet return. Upon that point, I have no doubt that Eli Elidibus spoke true. Yet there must be a way to destroy them utterly. A way to spare this world their unholy uh, machinations. I dare not consider the alternative. There are forces at work we do not understand, Une. I discern them all around in disturbance too great and too numerous to be dismissed as mere coincidence. Doubtless the paragons are involved, but how and to what end is far from clear. I know that I know not what will come, but I do know that we will rise and meet it as one. Ah, my stalwart hero, a face is a picture. Your face is a picture of resolve. I know that you will be ready when the time comes. With luck, however, that will not be for a while yet. Pray return to your private affairs with my blessing. Should anything arise, you will be informed. Alright. Krilla, where are you? Who the hell is Krilla? Yeah, no clue who this Krilla person is. Your intercession was not foretold. Oh, he's in... Okay. Okay, so these guys don't... So you have the hooded guys in black. You have the hooded guys in white. And you have the not-so-hooded guys in... In blue? 
You object? We question. Our plans are in motion. Your intentions unclear. Um, they survived the seventh Endor and are stronger now in the gift. Does that not intrigue you? I'm kind of hoping to get a, a shot of his face though. No, it does not. Serve as you will, so too shall I. We labor not to cross purposes. The wisdom of his plan shall become apparent in time, when the veil is lifted from their eyes, and at long last they'll see. Alright. There's our building on stone. We get money, quest is complete, and we get the achievement unlocked. A realm awoken. Finally. We can go and do the new one. Yeah. And and I think I think we will just do the new one. Uh which should bring me. Yeah, I think it would bring me to Limsa. How about, shall we just prepare from the legacy of Alan? While we just let this go. We're now in 2.2 anyways. Might as well just do it. There's a bit of a quest line. And like I said, I want to pick up the, the, the botanist and the miner. And I will make short videos of them later. Where I will go over the, over the voice and the skills and stuff like that. Um, like the missions. I quite like that. Explain what some of these skills do or when to use them. Not that I am an expert in the field, but you know, we have YouTube nowadays. Doesn't really matter now, does it? We also need to do the um, the leaves over here. So yeah, well, let's go over towards this uh, settlement. I kind of still don't know what's up with the settlements. Like, you see them here and there. It's not really clear to me, like, what what's their purpose? What do they do? I'm actually very happy that I took booked the traveling song on. It's so normal for... I just... When I was playing, I think it's like... Final Fantasy X? That song was... This, I love this bit. Okay, let's go leave Guy first. Um, I'm not going over what he says because, you know, nobody cares. It's just, we need to test you. Fine. And we get... We get some gloves for that. Let's try them on. Let's take a look. How do they look? Um, I'm actually going to be putting these in my glam box because I don't know if... You will ever get any others that are interesting. Let's go. We need to smooth or soothe or whatever. Unable to open map at this time. Come on, man. Honestly, don't know what to do. Oh, report, report to Modona. There we go. That's where we need to go. That was. I do that. Well, well, whatever. Let's go. Like I said, I don't always want to fly. I love the flying in this game. I just like the traveling as well, man. The land looks gorgeous. Especially now that we see more... Oh, that's a good place. Okay, map. Uh, this one. Initiate. Alright, we need to go up.
This is still the fastest way of doing these things. Just manually. I'll try to keep my buff up. Oh wait, we need to... Oh, I'm an idiot. I'm sorry. We need to do this. Uh, suit. That's one. So I don't need my buffs. I think they need to be down to 50. No, 40. Okay, now, now it's done. Yeah, so he has this emotion. And that's basically where you need to watch for. Is this one of them? No, oh, actually he doesn't have it. Okay. There you go. Now we need to wait for like 10 seconds. Agitate it. There we go. And we'll, we'll make sure this guy's gone. Yeah, reading. <laughs> reading in this game, guys. Very important. And so if we do this right now, it should give him the negative. Will it do it at, at like 50%, like full health? There you go. Done. Let's talk to him. We'll get our reward. And we have done... I think that we've done all of the leaves that you can do in Realm Reborn. Okay, with that... Like, the leaf quest, if, you, if you're leveling crafters, they're not bad. Some of them aren't bad, I should say. So, Rembrus. Why, if it isn't Unedosian herself? I was not expecting such a celebrated guest. To what do I owe this honor of this visit? You were directed here, you say, by a man clad in foreign garb. Well, the opportunity he spoke of must surely refer to our latest uh, entropogeographical endeavor. Quite how he came to know of it is another matter. All knowledge of this project was supposed to be restricted to my organization. But that is something for me to ponder in private. You are here now and your service will, and I am certain, prove invaluable. I must warn you, however, that the venture we have in mind is no simple uh, excavation. An unprepared or in osseous adventure would very well find itself on a unplanned and unpleasant joy to Tal's solemn halls. So you kind of would die. Okay. Know this. Do you still wish to lane, lend us your cooperation? Kind of do. I rather thought you were... I rather thought you would say that. Your courage is scarcely a secret. Now, the first. Una, I thought it was you. What the hell is Sid doing here? What brings you to Saint Coin Cointus? Don't tell me. The alliance has sent you or another realm uh, or another sent you on another realm shaking history making mission to lay low an apparently insufferable foe. Yes? No? Ah, I see you two are already acquainted. That is well. Master Garland, our interpret hero here, caught wind of the forthcoming expedition and has kindly pledged to assist us. She has, has she? Glad to have you aboard, Une. You have not the faintest idea what you volunteered for, do you? 
Very well. Let us begin at the beginning. The sons of Saint Coinage are tasked with unearthing the secrets of a long fallen Alagan Empire, and this prevent uh, this present endeavor aims to delve more deeply into the civilization's mysteries than ever before. Ah, but I know that look. In the event that you feel ill-equipped to contribute much on the subject of Alagan archaeology, I invite you to recall your encounter with the Ultima Weapon. That mechanical monstrosity represented a feat of engineering far beyond a uh, odd armament can presently achieve. Nero told Scavea simply awoke it. Wait, Nero did? Nero is the, is the guy in red, right? I mentioned this by way of a reminder that you, ha that you have had what one might term extensive first hand experience with a notable elegant relic. In short, you're practically an archaeologist. An archaeologist. Oh my God, Ar archaeologist. Now, to the corner or to the core of the matter here in Modona, there stands an entire elegant structure, which we have yet to investigate. I speak, of course, of the Crystal Tower. After witnessing the destructive capabilities of the Ultima weapon and the lesser moon, Dalamund, before it, it seems wise to treat any remain er, remnants from that era with the utmost caution. They must be analyzed, monitored, and above all, kept from, f uh, from falling in wrong hands. To me, it, uh, to put it plain, I have no wish to see another uh, megalomanical Legolas wield one of its uh, one of those weapons it was this thought which first moved me to contact the sons and proposed that the tower be explored okay that is that is how it goes and sure for several millennia the crystal tower remained hidden buried deep underground but like so many other things that were better left undisturbed, the structure was freed from its stony prison by the great unhevel upheaval which accompanied the coming of the, several, uh, the seventh Umral era. It now stands revealed in all its splendor. The gleaming spear of crystal points pointed at the bosom of the heavens. So he's talking about the Calamity. As a good shield. We believe the tower to be the repository of much of the ancient wisdom. Unfortunately, its entrance is guarded by uh, formidable defenses and we can not so much as peep through the keyhole, much less set foot inside. The defense take the form of statues. Carved into the likeness of giant swordmen, the eight sentinels. As the sons are wont to call them, it is the first barrier we must overcome. Why not simply fly over them in an airship, you ask? It's been tried before. Any vessel that ventures too close to the tower is blasted out of the air. 
we either destroy those statues or the front door is forever beyond our reach. My colleagues and I are ill-suited to ne uh, negotiate such deadly hazards. Thus, if you are to gain access to the tower secrets, we must needs employ the service of an experienced adventurer. It will be difficult and dangerous, Une, but I think of no finer woman for the task. If I did not know better, I'd say you had a taste for these deadly escapades. I look forward to working with you again. There is much and more there is much and more to be done before we can begin the expedition proper. Take some time to prepare yourself and I shall explain the challenges that lie ahead. Okay, I think we now have a bit of time. Uh let me get something to drink because I've not drinked in a while and I quickly get a, grab a sandwich.
Okay. We can go again. <clears throat> that feels so much better. Also, like, drinking. <laughs> if you don't have a drink, playing and talking through this game, then my god, you're doing something wrong. Our first objective is to reach the entrance to the Crystal Tower. As I previously mentioned, however, that will prove no easy task. The entrance is guarded by a powerful defense mechanism, each utilizing one of the four elements of fire, water, wind and earth. Anyone attempting to simply stroll past these unsleeping sentinels will, swift, will invite swift obliteration. Oh wow. Based on Master Garland's analysis, however, we are, we are reasonably certain, I love that word, that the attacks of these lethal contraptions can be reflected using a crystal of the corresponding element. Naturally, these crystals must be of surpassing clarity, free of the slightest impurities, much like the flawless specimens used by the beastmen in the primal summoning rituals. <clears throat> yep, I should have said exactly like the specimens they use, um, the, uh, they were there any other way, we would not ask this of you. But we need someone to enter the Beast Tribe strongholds and liberate their perfect crystals. Are you kidding me? For the moment, I would have you focus on taming two of four crystals we require. Pray make for uh, La Nocea and both the Sapsa swan, swan, Swanning grounds. Okay. You may be certain that the materials loosed in the Beastman's secret rituals will be defended. Whether you choose to venture there alone or with companions, I shall leave into your, to, to your discretion. But whatever you do, please be careful. Okay. Let's go over here then. Oh, there. This should not be a problem. Uh, let's take a look. Oh, here we need to be. Uh, we don't need the other attack. I, I, wow, really? That's one. That was easy. Man, this, this the, the hardest thing on this one is the travel. Are there more quests to getting the raids? Like, are there more steps that I need to do other than, you know, entering them? Uh, which, which we will do. I don't think now. Uh, this is a North American server, and, and let's be honest. On the West Coast, I've been told, it's like 11 p.m. Don't want to deal with no pirates, go away. Oh, I'll just fly over, whatever. I think I took a mi at, uh, at the wrong turn somewhere. There you go. Oh, 
I love it when they do start doing missions. That's when they die. Of uh, skills. They're, they're, they're stuck in place. My chocobo is silent though. Go back to Modona. That was easy. I can't wait to actually get into the MSQ further. Okay. Your progress, uh, how progress your efforts in infiltrating the beastmen strongholds. I'm already done, dude. So these are the famed flawless crystals of the beast tribes. I've seen countless specimens uh, from uh, from I know not how many excavations, but nothing to compare to these. Their purity is astonishing. You have done well. You know, with the days in your possession, we lack only the crystal of fire and wind. The former lies in Zakran, the war camp of the Amalja in Talalan. The latter in Natal, uh, Natalan, the roost of the exile in the hills of Kotas. You can expect them to be as closely guarded as the first two, if not more so. Still, I look forward to receiving word of your resourcing, uh, resource... Restounding, restounding success. Why didn't you just give me all of the missions right away? It, it, it doesn't change anything, right? Could it be that um, you were not able to fly in the past? Is that is that why they really like divided it? Because I can basically skip all of the monsters. Start with him. He's easier. He's not level 50. Okay, he's doing skill. So let's make use of that. Alright, that should be it. So, I know I'm getting sidetracked a lot, okay? <clears throat> I'm absolutely aware about that. Like, I don't have to do this, like, right now. We can also do this at the end, uh, once we're done 2.5. Like, it's mandatory for you to do this one before you can proceed. I mean, I didn't have to do it right now, right? I, I, I'm sidetracked. So, yeah, I can definitely imagine, like... Some people are just mainly for the MSQ, but do keep in mind, like, these are parts you need to do. So basically, I think they are part of the MSQ. That was so easy. What a joke.
weapon. Alright, let's fly. I don't want to deal with that. And it's good to see you, tell me. Were you able to obtain the remaining crystals from the beastman? Yeah, of course, well, where else would I be here? Wonderful, with all four in hand, we are now ready to proceed to the next stage of our preparations. Ah, I hope I did not give you the impression that we would be embarking on our journey to the crystal tower just yet. Alas, there is another step, which uh, must be completed ere we come to that. While the crystals are acquired, the crystals you acquired are indeed flawless, they are of little use to us in their present form. If they are to reflect the elemental forces to the tower of, of the tower's defenses, they must need to be cut and polished. A process which calls for a very particular set of materials. Procuring them will be a challenge in itself, I fear. Needless to say, we will be requiring your services once again. Sanding it down. Okay. Get some direct hit rate. Probably just go for the money. Well, we'll get so many of these. If the flawless crystals you procure, uh, procured for us are to retain their elemental purity during the shaping process, a very specific set of abrasive substances will be required. Well, I said substances. But one might say as well can... One... Wait... Well, I say substances, but one might just as well call them one substance. Namely, Ephesand, which has four elemental aspect varieties. Alas, Ephesand is neither common nor cheap. Indeed, it is not unusually... It's not unusual for the abrasive to exceed the value of the precious stones. It is used to polish. Given the rarity of the materials in question, the goldsmith guild in Ulta seems the likeliest place to purchase the quality quantity we require. When I contacted the guildmaster, however, I was informed that no Eva sand was currently available, though I requested that word be sent as soon as new stock came in. I have yet to receive odd but apologies. I should mention that should this point I should mention at this point that I placed the order sometime before you proceed uh, pr procured the flawless crystals. I am well aware that acquiring Ephesand is no small feat. Of course, I am not an impatient man, but I fear the more we delay our investigation, the greater the risk that the tower secrets may fall into the hands of the others, uh, less savory parties. That is why I wish to entrust you with the payment of our purchase and send you directly to the guildmaster. May have the present of such a distinguished personage will spur the guilds into action. I, in any event, it is my hope that when we next when next we meet, you have found at least one of the four variety Ifa Sand Weaver. I'm going to assume that we end up doing all of them. We might as well pick up the job then. Just... Just saying. Weird. Okay. 
Okay, it seems... Are we in the right place? I need to go to the goldsmith. I guess I didn't... I thought we didn't need to go to the mining guild. No, of course not. No, no, no. It was a goldsmith. Why was I under the assumption that we needed to go here? Ah, Miss, uh, Mistress Doshin, welcome, welcome, what brings you here, if I may ask? I have money. If, if they don't have it, they don't have it. I don't know what the problem is. You are here on behalf of the sons. What fortunate timing. I was just about to contact the master with the news that we have finally managed to acquire a... Quantity of the fire aspect at Ificent. I'm afraid it may be some time before we can supply the other three varieties, but you are welcome to settle account for that which we have now. Pray speak with Gemini over. Ah, I do beg your pardon. It seems she is assisting another customer. No, it's Biggs. Come on, there must be something you can do. Without the sand, we'll have to rethink our whole design. I sympathize with your plight, sir, but as I explained, the Ifacent in question is already spoken for. If you would, would like to reserve the next shipment, then I would be happy to accept the funds uh, you've offered as partial payment. Partial? You're saying it's not enough? I'm already stretching our research budget as it is. I suppose a man can do without... A midday meal for a year or two. You know, it's been too long. What brings you here? Then, got your eye on something expensive, have you? Of course, I'm. I'm. I'm all about jewelry. I'm here to pick up my sand. Give me my sand. Well, now that's quite a money pouch. It sounds. Of so many gill clinging together is strangely satisfying, is it not? Calming and yet invigorating at the same time. Oh no, you're here for the blooming Eve Ascent, aren't you? Precisely. That I am. Oh, you are so perfect. Okay, fine, I'll let you. That was so sad. Oh, he was walking there so slowly. He really needed to go. Well, I can't deny the elegant civiliz uh, civilization is subject worth researching. The chief said he was looking into something big, but we never thought to ask him what. Wedge and I have been too busy thinking with a new airship design to think of much else. See, well, I say thinking, wrestling would be more like it. Still, after much wringing uh, of hands and gnasting of thieves, we have managed to put together a prototype crystal power propulsion system. <clears throat> we got the idea for it when we heard how you lot had used the corrupted crystal aboard the Enterprise, as a matter of fact. Either way, to cut, long, to cut a long story short, 
our design calls for four varieties of Ethersend. Of course it does. And that's why I can just relinquish my claim on this patch here. Even for you, Les. How we meant to use... How... How we're... How are we meant to usher in a brave new age of technology and technological innovation if not by techno technologically innovating? Eh? Mm. While well, I hesitate to interrupt such a impassionate speech, duly compels for me to point out that this lady is a representative of the organization that reserved the Ephesent in question, to mention nothing of the fact that her purse is considerably larger than yours. <laughs> oh, it's like that, is it? Yeah, okay, that's funny. All right, all right. This batch is yours. I'll let you have it. But if you're going to take my sand, it's only fair that you grant me a role in this project of yours. I'll take that as a yes, huh? It's not every day you get a chance to experiment with the wonders of the ancients. With any luck, you'll inspire me to think up another technological innovation or two. Right? Do I seriously now need to talk to him? Oh god. Okay. Now then, from what I told you, I'm guessing you'll be needing the other three varieties of elemental aspects eat for send as well, right? Then rather than sitting on your thumb waiting for a shipment that may never come, I reckon your time would be better spent looking for the stuff yourself. And it just so happened I know of a good place to start. There is said to be a peddler in the north, northern Talalan who very occasionally handles the earth aspected, uh, earth aspected variety of Ephesent, which is in the process of confirming the rumors as we speak. I know that what you're thinking. When did my timid time... Timid time... Wow, God! When did my timid little friend decide he did not need me to hold his hand anymore? The answer being, just the other day. Seems he's been inspired by a certain adventurous, heroic example. I thought he was joking when he volunteered to go to Taladan without me. I just hope he manages to stay out of trouble. Head out to Blue Frog, and you should find him poking about with his new bodyguard. Wait, he did go- what? Never mind. Oh, did I not mention her? I Wedge thought it might be wise to hire an adventurer to accompany him. Just in case your heroic example turned out to be less inspiring than he first thought. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay. Let's go to Blue Frog then. Hopefully this goes far. Please don't tell me I have to go back here. I want to be a goldsmith. No, it's fine. Um, okay, that doesn't bode do good. Where is my little man? Save your greetings if you're looking for a hired blade, then you, you'll you have to look elsewhere. After the day I had, the only company I crave is a squat silent type. The type that has a handle and holds no less than a pint of ale. Hmm? You wish they might tell, I warn you. It's no stirring epic, but as you're asking, my employer, a Lullafillin, Lad wished to pay a visit to a peddler who deals in some manner of special scent. I forgot what it was called, but it's apparent, apparently worth a small fortune. Either way, we arrived. The man claims his stock had been stolen by bandits. Determined not to return empty-handed, we crept into the bandit stronghold and set about locating the stolen goods. Long story short, Alarans were rising, rogues were awoken, and we fled in blind panic. I was separated from my employer in the confusion, but I've and I've not seen him since. Mm. Friend of yours, is he? Then you best be prepared for the worst. It's just possible that the poor sword may yet be lost in the old aluminium mitral mine, but I fear the bandits will have caught up with him by now. You are brave, aren't you? My god, you're brave. You call yourself an adventurer. Oh god damn guys. Oh well, fine, here we go. Whee! Right to the left, okay.
Oh, it's in here. Okay. Nice. He's here. Like I said, I, I, I've, I've played this bit again. I know that he's here. How could I be this stupid? Sneaking into a bandit lair. It's, it's just not the sort of thing I do. And now I go to die for this. No, no, I just need to be, I need to calm down. I can do this. I can be brave. I'm going to stand up. I'm going to walk out of here. Here we go. Yeah, you die. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Please don't kill me. I promise I'll leave and come back. I'll, I'll never come back. You know, is it really you? But how did you find me? Can you smell fear? Actually, ignore that smell. Um, I expect you're wondering why I'm here. Well, it was just in the process of retrieving some stolen goods. He stole an ether sand, which Biggs and I need for our research. As it happens. Uh, it was, I concede, perhaps a touch foolish and, ver and very nearly fatal. But I did succeed in snatching the stuff. Before my bodyguards ran away... And several dozen uh, bandits kept piling after me with knives and axes and looked very much like a plank with a rusty nail in it. <laughs> Anyways, the important thing is that stolen ether sand is right here in my po uh, in my, oh dear. I must have it must have fallen out when I was um, taking evasive maneuvers. <laughs> It seems I won't be leaving this infernal place for a while yet. Evasive maneuvers. I have the ship called the Enterprise is doing evasive maneuvers. We'll find the Eva Sand in my stead. Okay. Well, I'll just kill a bunch. Oh, thank God. You're a true friend, you know. I hope searching doesn't prove to be tro to, too troublesome. The bandits don't seem to care much about visitors. Okay. It's fine. I, I don't care about them either. Um, you know, let's go with this. There we go. So, let's take a look. Where is he? Okay, yeah, let's over him. Let's get out of that. You. Kill him. Um, that should be it, right? Just one of them? Seems like it, yeah. Wow. The interaction with Aoife Sand, a bag literally on the floor, takes forever. Great. <clears throat> you know, you, uh, have you had any luck locating Aoife Sand? Yeah, of course I did. <clears throat> Yes, that's it. We must return to the workshop at once and tell Biggs about the wonderful news. What's that? You're also on a mission to collect the scent and we're working with the chief. A treasure trove of ele elegant knowledge, you say. I see. Well, you should re uh, then you should really be the one having this. Biggs and I are far from exhausting all possible ad uh, avenues for airship innovation. But it sounds as your problem can be solved by any other means. This expedition of yours sounds jolly interesting, I must say. I'm half half inclined to join you. In fact, I think I will. Any venture worth the chief's time must be worth a look. Right. I'm more than ready to leave this awful place behind. And you should return to Mordona with the Aoife Sam before there are any more little mishaps. Be sure to keep a close eye on your pockets, you know. Okay, let me check on my dogs real quick.
Okay. No, he's better now. Oh, but he's got a new pants. Oh, I'll take you out for a walk in a second when I'm done with this quest. And take up the botanist and the miner, mind you. I will do them. Anyways, let us fly. Actually, I don't think I've picked up any other mounts other than the one that you get from the MSQ. That is the... Um, what's that ether machine called again? Yeah, this one. And this favorite thing is because I copied my hot information from one character to another. There we go. Ah, Une have returned. I take from your presence that you were successful in procuring some, uh, us some ether sand. Tell me which variety did you find? Uh, I got two of them. Because why should I not get all four of them at once, of course? Makes no sense, right? I see two varieties. Well, that is two more than could reasonably be expected. <coughs> And two less than I hoped for, uh, you would say. Forgive my... Flippance. You have done well, truly. If all goes to plan, we need no longer fear death by fire or earth. Just water and lightning. Hey, man, how you doing? Oh, man, that rooster is so fun. Sipic chicken. <laughs> that is so fun. Master Garment, if you wish to be so kind as to the per uh, prepare... Uh, the relevant crystals. I shall set work immediately. Truth be told, I've been looking forward to this one. One does not encounter material like these every day. Speaking of which, how in the seventh house did you find them? Uh, mistake me not, old friend. I could, uh, I could only too well. Uh, I know only too well how capable you are. With Ifa Sand, it isn't something you simply find gathering dust at the back of a merchant's rare gem cabinet. Oh, I stole it from from your friend and, and from bandits. You had help from Biggs? I did not have help. How, how could you call it help? One was hiding in a shed and the other one was trying to steal it from me. Hmm. Trust them to design a revolutionary new engine the moment I turn my back. How is a genius meant to rest on his landrons when his employers are so damn innovative, huh? And how... They're determined to join us. Are they typical? Sounds like... No. No, it's not. It's not help. <laughs> How are you doing, man? I jest, of course. It will be good to have them around. Still, as a matter of professional pride, let's endeavor to procure two more... Two, the two remaining varieties of Eva Sand before they arrive, shall we? Tell me, Rambus. Have we any information on where the water and the wind aspect might be hiding? Not as of yet, but I have certain arrangement and shall soon see if my efforts have bore fruit. Forgive me for observing, but you seem less than enthusiastic about that prospect. If there's a complication, I'd rather, I'd rather we discuss it now than risk jeopardizing the expedition. Mayhap an expedition is in order, but first, let us savor the preliminary victories that Une has won for our cause, if only for a moment. I'll take the money, I don't care. The amount of these materia I've been selling is just sickening. And with this, I will most likely go just leveling, taking advice of advantage of a two-time multiplier on my alt. Nice. Where are you leveling? Well, what server are you leveling? Um. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry for that. I love Esmond. 
I think Absman is absolutely brilliant. I don't know the others, but I'm sure they're way better than me. <laughs> uh, world visiting and uh, Midgard summoner. Nice. Uh, that's a bot, really. How so? Then what is he? Suspicious user ban evasion monitoring. Earth uh, possible ban evasion in the system. Suspicious user activity state of public chatting. See what is specific. Um, oh yeah, I see. Okay, well. Uh, use ban evasion monitoring. Restrict. There you go. He is now restricted. There you go. That, that's way better. That's uh, that's. I hate that man. What's the point in bots? I really don't get that. What what? Why are they bots? Like I I get it. These dumbass bots that are selling like followers and views and stuff. Like makes no sense. Why would you? Why would you kid yourself by buying followers? I don't get that. Well, anyways, let's go. Yes, yes, I must speak of the arrangements I made to acquire the two remaining varieties of Ephesens. Some days ago, I asked a Shugalin acquaintance of mine to travel to Gridania and there gather the necessary materials. Since that time, however, I have heard nary of a whisper from him. To be frank, his lack of communication is not entirely uncharisteric. Uncharisteric? Trick? 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 But I cannot discount the possibility that something ill has befallen the man. Alas, we do not have time to investigate his faith. As I've mentioned before, the more we delay our expedition, the more likely it is the same Crystal Tower secrets will fall into the wrong hands. Therefore, I would entrust you with the same mission I assigned to my friend. Travel to the Black Shroud and seek out Pars Montre, the master of the market of Gr uh, Gridania. If anyone knows where Ifesen might be bought, it is he. Um, because bigger numbers is better. Why? Look, I rather have four people watching, chatting, than twenty people lurking. I I'm doing this for in for communication, right? I like interaction. If I wanted to be big or bigger. I would have stayed on YouTube where I have, I think, like three and a half thousand people. And I was doing okay ish. But I got bored out of my skull. Once again, I'm not a good streamer or a YouTube content creator, but you know, <laughs> shit happens. I just want to have some fun. All that matters to me. Now, I know this where we are going is not. Meanwhile, lurking around. God Damn it. Damn it. Me and my big ass mouth. I'm sorry, Ida. No, I know. I know. I know. Well, you, you, get, where, where, you, you get where I'm going, right? Like, why would I buy, buy viewers? What's the point? <laughs> there would be a hundred people watching. A lie. And I would be like all high and mighty until the money runs out. And, and then I see everything crumble back to like two. You know, you, you're kidding yourself, you're, you're absolutely kidding yourself. Isn't an asthma of simply a butthole? Yes, totally is. How did you get to that, actually? That's what I'm curious about. I didn't say me and my ass mouth, I said me and my big mouth. Me and my asshole, yeah. Why did I say asshole, actually? And... Um, I mean to say, me and my big ass ma- Yeah, you're right. Why is butthole- Seriously, you can say big ass mouth, but butthole? Butthole is like, oh my god. How could he say butthole? It's like banning Uranus. Would that be? Would that be on the list? <laughs> Whatever. Okay, let's talk to him. This is the primal one. Ah. 
isn't an analyst. I already said that. Um, you have the science. Might I deduce from your stern expression that you have heard of disturbing news? Ah, Gordania returns once more to the plague, plague of nightmares. I fear this incarnation of the lady is more tempestuous than we have thought. Um, than we ought we have yet witnessed. If you are prepared to face this roiling storm, I will brief, then I will brief you on what you must be done. It's, it's, it's simple. It is... Go to place. Gale in the force. I'll take it. Une of the science... Uh, why? Une of the science. Every time you see him. Oh, Une of the science. How nice. Glad to see you. I assume you have been apprised of the situation regarding the Mughal monarch. Oh, this is the other one. After many previous, dis uh, after your previous disposal of the king, Kupo Kupa approached the Mughal guard and attempted to convince with them the error of their ways. Unfortunately, it appears his efforts uh, at persuading had rather the opposite effect. The royal sentries reportedly flew into a frenzy and focused their righteous indignance. On a new sim, read just like that immediately. No, you see, your reign is still fine. So weird. Butthole is like, oh my god, do we permit the term? But your reign is. It's like the same thing, isn't it? Like, the, the, what's wrong with that? Anyway, uh, mayhap it was uh, the unwavering intention of the Mughal guards' prayers, but the king has returned to the forest inv uh, enveloped in the most blinding aura of majesty. Cooper Cop tells us that the daunting Manical avatars who now take to calling himself the great king, Gurum of the... The great king! It's not good king, it's now great king. He completely lost it. Suffice it to say, the elder Caesar is willing to condone the necessary act of regacy. Okay, for the safety of all those who dwell within the twelve foot, it has been decided for the king must fall. A certain member of the elder Caesar personal guard has already escorted Kuplo Cop to the ward that shields the monarch's domain. Those amongst us with the ability to see Mughals are often in high demand. But, considering the urgency of, our, of your mission, our leader felt it best to expedite matters. Pray make your preparation and settle as soon as you are able to. Kupo Cop awaits you at the Bramwood Patch in East Shroud. Well, yeah, we, we definitely do it. Just not, not now. Uh, those give glowy weapons? What gives glowy weapons? The, the raid. Or, or what? Why do you have another quest? Kill force warning, here we go, we gotta get more of them. How many seals do I actually have right now? Uh, not enough, fine. I need to buy uh, potash and coke for the uh, workshop, so I kinda need to get as much of these seals as possible. Uh, we first learned of Garuda's return when the primal fell upon the blue badges as they sought to construct a new Watch spire. Why would you, you you love building watch spires, don't you? The devastation was absolute. According to the report of one of the survival engineers, Garuda invoked the most horrific gale with but a jester of her talent hand. The powerful wind tore apart half the building tower, crushing the workers and scattering their broken bodies like dolls. By all accounts, it appears the Lady of the Vortex has grown stronger with his summoning. She must be stopped before the casualties are allowed to pile up any higher. But as you might imagine, the exile eager to please their bloodthirsty goddess are emerging, at, engaging our troops on every front. I have not the soldiers to spare for a primal hunting expedition. Would it not be like your target, your main target? Does I send word to the science to back an aid of their proven champions? You and your companions are our best hope in freeing Gradana of this rampaging fiend. I ask that you confront Garuda in her cosmary domain, the Howling Eye. Such, as titan, titanic con such a titanic conflict is best confined to Exali land. Would you not agree? Yeah, of course. Why not fight on that one? Well, I imagine the Birdmen have since made adjustments to their crystal. The Beastman Etherite found in the Talon 
remains the surest means of entry. May the 12 strengthen your arms in it. Now, I'm not going there. Uh, because this is not where I was. Uh, why am I why, why I am here? So, what I'll do is just Gale Warning. Put that off. Forming of the Ape. Ages. I was saying for Form of the Apes. I also got myself a very cool axe from doing the uh, the Titan Heart Mode. Which I really, really like. Uh, we need to go there. Should we pick up the botanist while we're here? No. Um, we'll do... We'll open the, the tower, the crystal tower, and then we'll pick up whatever it is. Wait, pass Monet, you are the white guy who was sucking. Yes, I'm sorry. Did you say you wish to purchase Eva Sand? Forgive me, madam. But have you the faintest idea of the rarity of the material you seek? Why I have not seen so much as a grain of Eva Sand in these markets for many long years. I could tell you where you, one might. Or... Where, I could tell you where one might mine the ore from which the water aspect variety of the abrasive is derived but one is a desperate f a desperate fool but only a desperate fool would willingly set foot in the place uh, you seem undetermined are you oh no are you familiar with earth gift that is where the ore is to be found, in an area inhabited by a particular uh, pericious hawk. Oh, I know where it is. Yeah, I know where it is now. Should you encounter the betusked nightmare, you will know that you're in the right place. Abide at the wrong time. Farewell. That's not a problem. Um, this is actually, I think, where you do uh, Odin. I think you. Yeah, Odin. Odin should be the one. There it is. That's the wrong patch. Odin uh, was later. Yeah, it's here. Like, Odin is here. And this is there, yeah. Oh wow, that... Well, he kind of died. I don't know who they sent. They did good. Way to go. You're too late, adventurer. Disembodied voice. Oh my god. And not only for the entertainment, you will find no trace of the ore, which but recently, later. Nah. Not so much as a speck. Okay. Time for you to die. Ah, no. You will never spy me from there. For the time being, at least. You will have to trust the evidence of your ear. Now stop uh, squanting at the foliage and listen as i told you the water based uh, uh, the water blessed material you hope to find is gone taken by me victory was made uh, victory has made me magnanimous however accordingly i have decided to share the location of an alternative source of ifa sand with you the wind touched variety to be specific i trust i have your attention Good. A band of exile in the northern shroud keeps a quantity of the abrasive for the purpose of removing impurities from lesser crystals. Well, do you mean to dally here all day? Make haste, adventurer, before I snatch another prize from under your nose. This is to be a race. The exile logging grounds in the northern shroud shall be your of our destination, and that is where the real amusement will begin. May the best man win. Okay. Uh, that would definitely make it faster then. If I get both. Fine. Now I believe that this is... Is this the final mission that we do? Like... 
before we will gain access. to be kidding me. I've been practicing my rotation uh, a bit with the assassin. I keep saying assassin, it's a ninja. No longer need my macros. They actually did help me. Bravo, that was quite a show, adventurer. Why the spectacle proved so enthralling that all thoughts of its ascent slipped my mind. There's a Naruto run. It must be an... Yeah, I know, yeah. Wait, do I have a Naruto? I didn't check, actually. I appear, appear to have forfeited our little race. Congratulations, the wind touch abrasive is yours. And yet, have been treated to such a moment, more memorable performance. I cannot help feeling that the great prize is mine. This iniquity must not stand i insist that you accept the token of my appreciation payment for this entertainment will be waiting for you in the east in a clearing within proud creek pray retrieve the gift ere it is crushed beneath the iron feet of the dullands who the hell is this guy yes okay so if i oh yeah it yep yeah, you're right it is not just a ninja, it's a shinobi. Mm-hmm. Don't move. Yeah, I'm sorry, hun. I wasn't that out. It is a shinobi. Never mind, they should rename it. Oh, this is the wrong one. Oh, oh sorry. Oh, you got to be kidding me. I was there. Oh, man. I have to. Uh, the rogue has a unique walking cycle. That is not in any other class. Yeah, the others just run normally, right? Like, I quite like... Oh, I need to be down. Right there. Yeah, I do like that. Like, they're running specially, which is great. Not what you were expecting. I took the liberty of refining the ore from Uthra's gift into Eat of Sand to keep it safe, adventure. He, he, this is the guy who sends me on the quest, isn't he? That is, uh, was it called Nero? Lest you accuse me of playing games, you should know that the thought of relinquishing my prize never, uh, never once crossed my mind until I saw you in action. Such deed needs to be rewarded. It is my vocation, you see, to record history as it may by mortal men. Mortal men, and I must prefer the chronicle to accomplish. And I, and I much prefer to chronicle the accomplishment of the bold and the mighty. Thus, it is my 
Ferret wish that you continue your career with the same courage and zeal that you've shown today. We shall meet again adventure and sooner than you might imagine. It must be him. Must be. I am actually, I do feel somewhat sad because <laughs> today would be the episode I was actually planning on doing 2.2 till the end. And I end up doing like mainly um, the, this, this quest. Yeah, almost three hours now. What news of your mission? Are we any close to acquiring the remaining abrasiveness? Yeah, of course, dude. Why do you think I'm back? St stop stating the familiar. You brought both? I shall give Master God and begin work on the crystals immediately. Uh, I'll take money. I don't care about potions. Never use them. I always forget. Yeah, precisely. That's Yeah, that is precisely why I'm doing it. And that should do the trick. Ah, uh, excellent work. Now we possess all four of the fangs required to pierce the crystal tower's defenses. My, uh, my compliments, Master Garland. Uh, it, it, well, it, it, they do say, indeed, that you need to do it before some mission. And I'm thinking it is going to be before 2.55. Uh, 2.5. I believe that is uh, before the fall. So at the end, yeah, 2.5. I need you need to do it before 2.5, uh, and that's a quest called Good Intentions. I think it's newer than that. 2.5 is like the last, uh, like where we move on right towards Ishgard. Earlier than that, so th and then I would move probably say 2.3. No. Brave the new companions, I think. He was just defender. I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. I I I was actually assuming something like that. Oh, it is a trifling trifling matter, I assure you. Une, here is one. Here is the one you should be thinking, anyways. By my reckoning, there is nothing stopping us from striding up the elements foot door. You cannot go without us, Chief. Okay, so there's those guys coming in. Big Wedge. Come to lend a hand, have you? Well, it's not every day you get a chance to study the wonders of the Elegant Empire, is it? Their technology makes Galamond look ancient. That's actually quite true. I appreciate your enthusiasm, lad. I really do, but... We're not here to take this knowledge for ourselves twice in the last decade the promise of unimaginable power has prompted men to mendle with technology they do not understand and the realm has been dragged into the very brink of obli or oblivion or yeah the very brink of oblivion on both uh, occasions we shall not be so irresponsible as to risk another which do you recall our company's creed Yes, Chief, it's uh, freedom through technology. Exactly, freedom. When we fought, uh, fortook our homeland, we swore that we would have no truck with machines that could be used to promote tyranny. That has not changed. Should you feel tempted to break your oath, remember this. The wonders of all-knowing Al uh, Allegan Empire could not save their civilization and have damned and have damn nearly doomed us twice well that makes sense like he's actually apparently it is 2.55 yeah because you need to do after 2.55 
it is uh, after the fall uh, part two you're running for your life so you need to be doing this because you are going to be hunted that is why I must we must explore the crystal tower and if needs be seal it uh, seal away its secrets look at that little smoke in his face A compelling viewpoint, it is, un it is unyielding will such as yours that have defined the very course of history. True. I didn't even know they would be in 5.0. Uh, so you've returned at last. What, pray tell, has kept you... So wholly preoccupied that you could not spare a moment to inform me of your progress or preservation. A familiar voice, my god. Why the task you assigned me, of course, surely you have not forgotten about the Ifacent. I tasked a passing adventurer with delivering it. A more capable courier I could not imagine. Me. Apparently he's a scion I've at greetings adventurer. Did I not say we would meet again? I believe an introduction is in order. I am Grantia, uh, one of the students of uh, Baldastian. I look forward to joining you in your groundbreaking expedition. Garantia has been assigned to the project as an observer. I hope you will forgive him his eccentricities. And welcome him, uh, welcome him as one of our own. I like the gear. I will never use the helmet. Grana. That's when it becomes mandatory. Really? Will he be back as well then? Because I don't think you'll... I'll, I'll, I've not seen him after this particular mission. So then. Our fellowship is complete and all that stands... Uh, and all stands ready to step into the unknown. Three chairs for Noah. Who the hell is Noah? There you go. Now, uh, no. I kind of want to get one of the entrance. And I, I just do that for like the thumbnails on YouTube. Because I have no imagination whatsoever. Who the hell is Noah? That is the name I've chosen for our little collective. Given our differing backgrounds. We cannot very well call ourselves the sons of the saints. I just say like crutch. I want to say like the son of Saint Crutch, but it's not Crutch, it's Coinage. I don't know why my brain feels like that. And we must have a memorable application if our venture is to leave its mark in the annals of history. I could not claim that Noah stands for Nominated Observers of Artificial History, and so it does technically, but... And so it does technically. But my true reason for choosing this name stems from the fact that it is a share that it is shared by a founded elegant archmages. An archmage. It sounds like uh, I like the sound of that. Very well. Now that the pressing matter of what to call ourselves has been settled, it is time we set forward to brave the outer defense of the Crystal Tower. Is everyone ready to depart? Ready. Um, he's around if you look after 2.55. Really? Now that I kind of am familiar with my macro, I can remove them. Labyrinth of the Ancients, esteemed colleagues, the secret of Edge and Alagon Beacon. Let us not keep them waiting any longer. Adventurer, you and I will join the engineers to the Crystal Tower main gateway, uh, where we will endeavor to neutralize the structure's outer defenses. 
Rembrandt, meanwhile, will remain here to observe the, uh, the operation. Given my knowledge of Elegant history, it seems logical that I should lead the expedition itself, though I admit the role does not exactly befit my status as an observer. Still, we can make sure we can make use of the resources at hand. Assuming all are in agreement, let us proceed forward to the large lopside gate fund to the southeast. To this day, I have no clue in the raids what actually is going on. There's so much going on, I don't know the mechanics. We won't be doing the raids, that's one thing guys, because, well, quite frankly, it is, um, I, it, it's, I think it's too late for the NA note to do it. We didn't actually get into um, Odin either, like we, we struggled getting DPS's and healers. Um, that's just how it works. <laughs> okay, so actually I know exactly how the raid goes. <laughs> Everyone does its own. The crystal tower lies beyond this portal. Now comes the interesting part. Sit. Are you the one of our numbers who has ever... Are you the only one of our numbers who has ever crossed the threshold? I ask that you take lead at present. If I go as a healer, it will be fine. I went as a healer. I actually had someone join from the FC as a tank. But you need eight people. So we had two tanks, we had two healers, we had two DPSs, and we were sticking on... Um... Onto... Um... Two DPSs. But it, no, no, it was the um, it was the hard dungeon, the hard trial. Od oh, actually, uh, now you said that it was an extreme one, Odin. Then it's fine. I say the energy radiating from the statues is pop people, pal 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 pal. Lucky for us, it is. One might otherwise stroll past them. Feast your eyes on the elemental defenses, which prompted our lengthy preparation. These sentinels prevent would-be intruders from uh, advancing to within 20 yards of the tower's inner riches. Can we just get a shot of the entrance? Uh, no matter how swift they may be. Happily, the crystal fang we took, uh, we took such pains to craft, would spare us the inconvenience of instantaneous annihilation. Here, allow me to demonstrate. Chief, it is too dangerous to, uh, uh, to allow anyone else to risk his life testing one. Quite right. I made a damn thing, it's my job to see that they work. I agree. Uh, what about your fingers? They kind of reach in first. Couldn't he just throw the damn thing? Success. I, for one, am convinced, friends. Ready, your fangs. Shit should have vaporized. I'm going to bet you I'm the last one. Or it's going to be the, uh, the imp. What do you call him? Yeah, no, it's going to be, um, Wedge. Okay, maybe not. Last one is yours, old, old friend. Are you saying I'm old? Are you saying I'm old? 
Seriously, the nerf? You know how much cream I use every day to look young? <laughs> the grandpa calls you old. Oh, the bastard. What a dick move. Ah, we did it. So much for the outer defense. Now can ev everyone can walk in now? Indeed. The entrance to the tower is near at hand. My blood fairly sings. The, uh, my blood fairly sings with potato. Fairly sings? Okay. Speaking of blood. I have a proposal for the next stage of the expedition. I suggest we wait here while Une and a hand-picked party of adventuring companions enter the tower. I have a proposal to make of you. Why don't we send her and a bunch of fools in to see if it's safe? So once they're done, we can enter and look at all of the knowledge. Isn't that what you're saying? Ah, oh, what's with you? I thought we came here to survey the entire structure. We did, and we will, but our investigations must proceed at a uh, more measure time. Fairly means almost, or maybe figuratively, my blood almost nearly figuratively sings. Is there medication for that? Because you don't want your blood to sing, nor do you want your blood to boil. Seems to be extremely gruesome way to die. If the outside of the palace is this well defended, you can imagine what awaits us on the inside. Only a true hero could reasonably hope to brave the hazards I had and live to tell the tale. Une here fits the description better than anyone, I know. And... It is not as we shall be idle in our absence. While Une and her companions are risking life and limb to beat us a path to the tower. We can set aboard analyzing the rubble uh, for evidence of how this technology functioned. Your knowledge of ancient lore will be invaluable to this endeavor, historian Gralaratia. Uh, I mean, the waterbender from Avatar could literally... But wasn't that like... A water bed that there was a um oh wow what was that with that again um yeah true it was it like a mixture like you had this iron bender that was earth and fire it's like this hybrid Yeah, it's true. Like, the entire human body is, like, 80% out of water. Would mean that a waterbender would technically be able to crush you to death. Just like that. So, the strongest people in Avatar... Ah, oh, the waterbenders. Precisely, they're scary, <laughs> and they are. <laughs> uh, by the way, did you? Did anyone see the live ac live action film? It's not live action film. Have anyone seen the film played by the humans? Uh, Avatar. Uh, the, not not the blue blue long guys, but you know, Avatar, the wind, the last Airbender. Oh my, we are, I was there sitting in the cinema. Okay, I get sidetracked again. I was sitting there in the cinema with my wife. Right? And we were looking at this like... What the fuck is that? And then you get this scene with... And, and with the earth benders, right? And they're like in this prison and they do this elaborate dance. And you see this freaking little pebble float around the screen. And I, I, I know they tried to make it big. But my god, that was the tiniest thing I've ever seen. It was a joke. I actually had a laugh. That was not cool, man. They just couldn't have signs and know what events were so strong. Yeah, true. Uh, the ever tired of being right, old man. Ah, Ume. 
It seems I won't be accomplishing you. Allow me at least to provide you with some instruction. The May that's surrounded the base of the tower is known as the Labyrinth of the Ancient. During this initial for foray, I suggested any I suggest any concentrate on riding the place of host or ridding the place of hostile elements. When you are reasonably certain the maze is secure, contact me via link shell and we shall join your post we shall join you post haste, no matter what Master Garment says. Though we would prefer if any relics you encounter remain intact, you have you have leave to do whatever is necessary to secure in just to the upper levels of the tower. Fortune go with you in it. Maybe we could actually I, I don't know if I can squeeze it in. But I because I think it's raining. If it's raining I can't really like walk the dogs. I need to check that. But I would not mind doing the raid. Yeah, Duties of the Alliance, 24 adventures forming three full parties. And yeah, we'll actually see new stuff. Let me open my way. Let me first check if it's raining outside, yes or no. <laughs> Let me start with that. Entrance. Enter the Labyrinth of the Ancients. So this is just an entrance mission. Let me check for real quick. Right, hop on your main. <laughs> it's still raining. Um, do I want to do tank DPS or healing? Let, let's take a look. Let's take a look. We now have unlocked this. Our very first raid. I think there's three of them. And we will be item level sync to 50. I recommend DPS. Well, then I go DPS. Uh, let me know when you're ready. Uh, let's take a look. Who's actually online? Um, FC. One, uh, try entering a uh, raid. Gura Simp, who the hell were you again? Oh, you're, hey, that's your alt? Cool. Friend request you immediately then. Uh, Rebel will most likely not be playing again. Oh, you're a, is that a sage? Icon, cool. Alright, let's uh let's go queue us up then. Talking to me. You you yes, 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 I'm talking to you. Uh Zell is very confused. Like he's the only one actually online in the FC. So he's like, what you want me to join? <laughs> he's been busy, he's been Zell over there, like I'll, I'll move, like Zell. Zellafe. He's been working absolutely hard uh, on the workshop. You know, the raids are never like eight men, right? No, there is no guarantee that we'll actually find it. Uh, okay, sure, I need a second working on the thing. Um, might take a bit to trigger, though. Rating is eight men. No, that's a. Why is that an eight men? It's it's like a, a good party. Party is eight. If I have one party group, that's a party. If I have three groups, it's a raid in my brain. Uh, 
Uh, I'm going to be inviting him uh, to the group. Uh, wait, I cannot invite him to the group because you are the leader. Thank you. Uh, let me know. I'll do that in group chat. Uh, let me know if you're on the class you want to enter so I can queue us up. Anyone else? Uh, alliance rate is 24, normal rate is 8. People are weird. Let's see, what is she on? What is she on right now? Um, let me do this. They're always easier than just to ask. Like, you'll just get a pop-up. Are you ready? Almost. There's also 8-man rage. Really weird, man. Uh, okay, well, I'll clarify it. It's a 24-man raid. Might not trigger due to current time. Then again, some of the Europeans might be willing or able. Uh, this is actually the only one I will do right now. Labyrinth of Ancient. Yeah, thank you for actually putting that in. Let me hop on. Okay, cool. 12 per expansion versus 3. Okay, he says okay. He knows it's good. Okay, uh, Ida is joining as well. I don't have that in here yet. Uh, I will. And it doesn't tell me in here. I think once I've done this one. Save to go now. Okay. Um, e, uh, Nadia is also joining in a sec. There is Nadia. Invite the party. Yay. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So, with that, while we wait for this to actually bloody trigger, and eventually it will. Uh, hey, Priya, we want to join. Oh, wait, you're probably working. How you doing, man? Let me go to Ulda. Every weekday. Oh, it's mo yeah, it is Monday, right? Nine to five, yeah. I st my work week started Saturday, so I always need to <laughs> really think about what day it is. 
Okay, let me go and get the mining and the botanist. Uh, the fishing and Friday. I'm off Thursday and Friday. Terrible Mondays. Yeah, true. True on that. Okay, let's let's talk to receptionist over here. So are you ready to join the miners guild? Yeah, just give me a pickaxe. Music to my ears. Aye, the kind mates. Uh, the kind mates where one's pickaxe strike gold. You must introduce yourself to the guild master right away. Her approval is required if you are to be formally admitted to our ranks. In case you are unaware, uh Adalberta is perhaps the most accomplished of those miners who still swing a pickaxe. Her understanding of our trade is unsurpassed and her fair and her fair for prospecting uncanny. Flair for prospecting uncanny. Her brain, her brain in short, is a variable gold mine of knowledge. Much of its concerning much of it concerning the mining of gold. Ha ha ha. Just the part. You should learn a great deal from her. When you are ready, pray present yourself to her and you'll find her down steps yonder over there. Okay, right. Ooh. That is a freakishly good looking sword. Nice. Yeah, that looks great. <laughs> Striking a pose. Like that. Alright, let's go over here. Okay. Well, I'm an adventurer. Albrecht is my name, and I'm the master of this guild. Um, I'm currently on my ninja. Is that a Moogle weapon? Really? Oh, wait, what? They are bloody shiny, though. I like that. Um, I've been on, yeah, I've been on my uh, my tank, my healer, and my ninja. They're all like in the range fifties, so I can safely hop between those three classes. Um, I'm still. Uh, I reckon you look good with a biocon weapon. I don't know what that is, but I'm sure. MF knows. Uh, I take it you wish to become a miner. Well, our doors are open to all who aren't afraid to work hard and get dirty. Thanks to recent advances in refining techniques, it's now possible to melt even low purity ores. I mention this because it's allowed us to reopen a number of mines which were long thought exhausted, prompting trade to flourish. New truth be told, with business as it is at the moment, we can't take on enough new miners, and new folks make better miners than adventurers. You're beginning you and new and new and few folks make better miners than adventurers, you being a hardy lot. What's more you're well traveled, which serves to expand the guild sphere of activities. Oh, but I'm not suggesting you join solely for our benefits. For our part, you'll acquire skills that will prove to your profit a mutual beneficial agreement. I trust you'll agree. So what do you say? You will join us. Yes, yes. Then I bid you welcome to the Miners Guild. May your tools, toils never go unrewarded. Now then, here's a pickaxe and you can get started. It's not the newest, but it should serve a novice well enough. Go on, take it up and see how it feels in your hand. Speak to me again when you are ready. And we'll assign you a little task to help you get into the swing of things. Okay. How is... Bayako pronounced. It's always said it was B B K O Bayako. Really? It's also in twenty levels. Oh wait, so that's that's like level seventy then. Cool. Alright, 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 alright. Here we go. Weapon. Uh Where's me pick? Where's me pickaxe? Oh, never mind. It's right over there. Oh, where's me clothes? <laughs> Please put on some clothes, Una. Disgusting. Oh, 
I want to make sure I save that no matter what happens. And we actually get some garments. Cool, let's take that. You look good with a pickaxe, you know. I look good with everything. Now that you're suitably equipped, lower training can command a miner learns her craft best in the wilderness. A wood pickaxe in hand. Uh, to begin, let's see how you fare with a good uh, with good old copper ore. Bring me say ten chunks. They are a deposit of such throughout Talalon. I doubt you'll have to go very far outside of the city. Seek out some promising location outside of the gate of Sult uh, outside of the gate of the Sultana and the gate of Nald and swing away. The motion may feel awkward at first, but in time it will become second nature. Miners use pickaxes and other tools to extract mineral wealth for, uh, of Eorzea and gather materials. And gathering and material and gather materials such in craft used in crafting. Locations can be blah 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 blah. Yeah, we go prospecting. Cool. So now that that is out of the way, let's get out of the first perspective. We look like we had a party late night in bed. Let's now overthink that. Don't need a glamour I don't need a glamour plan. Nobody see needs to see that. There we go. Miner. I'm an idiot. That's fine. Put you down like over there. Let's let's get my Yeah. Let's freak sake. Wait. Oh yeah, never mind. Uh soul crystal. Where's my, why's my audio? Why is the audio gone? Ninja. There we go. Please tell me you've unlocked dying. I am unlocked dying. I've died a few times. Um, but probably no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that was too easy. Uh, <laughs> oh, that was hilarious. Thank you. Um, yeah, I I did. Uh, I think uh, I sh it should be in Horizon, right? Pray return to the Walking Sands. Yeah, I I think I did unlock it. Uh, the reason I say, where is my audio? Wait. Where is my audio? I think I hit a mute button or something. What the hell did I mute? Uh, hit? That's normal. No. Oh, that that could no. Uh, yes, I actually uh, damped my system. How did I do that? I know how I did that. I'm an idiot. Luckily, we have Ida reminding me there is actually a thing called. So the only thing I have is her, but this is more like absolutely glamorous. Yeah, no, I, I did it. I actually did. Um, because I was going to show you, like, I have Chocobo back. I have dice. Yeah, I did unlock it. If other devices change, get unplugged in, in my entire game. Uh, I've, you know what also could be, I don't know if I can show, but on my keyboard, there is a button that mutes my audio and what i think happened is um instead of making pictures i've been muting and unmuting my mic or my audio let's take a look that would be very much like me by the way no i've been making pictures i've been making a lot of pictures today like that i love making screenshots in this game i don't know why i've never been too much into screenshots but you know it could have happened you hear the picture sound, that is true. How do I turn those off? 
How do us how does one turn off picture sounds? You don't. Okay. No, you don't. Okay. Well. Yes, that won't be changing then, huh? Let us go to Gridania. And I'll go have that out of bed wet look. Wet out of bed. With the botanist. Yesterday, like Sunday, uh, I did mine a lot. Okay. The first thing I see when I get into this town is two girls not wearing pants. Actually, no, it's two guys playing a girl f f character not wearing pants. Bunnass, yeah. Bunnass. <laughs> this game is weird, man. <laughs> Seriously. There's these moments where you're like, what the fuck's going on? <laughs> okay, ready to enroll in the botanist guild, I take it? Yes. Music to my ears. It will be my pleasure to refer you to the guild master Fufushia. Fufushia. It was the same in Fantasy Star Online though, in Final Fantasy XI. Well, I, I, when I played Final Fantasy XI, I think that I was quite young. I think I just moved out from my mother to my father back then. No. No, actually, I waited a long time until I could play. When did I play Final Fantasy XI? I played Final Fantasy XI, didn't understand a thing of it. The one thing I did a lot was I created a macro for fishing. I've been fishing a lot. You know, I, eventually I got, I, I got bored. Our Guildmaster's knowledge of nature is second to none. One need only witness her uncanny neck for spotting the finest timber to see that uh, to see that hers is a truly God-given talent. It is for this reason that she holds the title of first botanist. Oh, but you need not be over over overward, for she is the kindest of souls. You will find the guildmaster outside of the building. Seek her out and impress upon her your desire to become a botanist. I'm so happy they put her on the stool. I am Fufisha, the guild, the master of this guild. Please to make your acquaintance. I take it, Leon Kuller has been giving you the overview of the botanist already. Well then, I suppose I better continue where he left off. Orchardonians may rightly claim to share a close relationship with nature, but none is so intimate. As that of the botanist. It is our calling to nurture the natural environment to the mutual benefit of man and wood. But even as nature holds us in her loving embrace, proving for our every need, she is at heart an unsentimental creature. One that will take life just as readily as she gives it. Being a botanist means coming face to face with this uncomfortable truth on a regular basis. Knowing this, do you still wish to walk our path? That, that talk... 20 years ago... 20 years ago... Uh, in the Final Fantasy game that came out 20 years ago... Yeah, I played that, man. I That was my first console i think i got the playstation 2 in combination with no no with final fantasy 10 not 10 2 10 2 was more like my my wife my wife played final fantasy 10 2 i played final fantasy 10 
I've seen all of the Yuna scenes and, and, and Titus laughing about dumb things. At, at, because like I'm 37. I would make me like 16. I f think... No, I played it. I, th I think I played it at 16. I think I started playing Final Fantasy XI when it started dying, I guess. The look in your eyes bespeak the passion in your heart very well. I bid you a welcome to the Botanist Guild. To help yourself on your way, I present you with a hatchet. Take it up and then present yourself to me again. If you wish, if you would assign, I would assign you your first target as a Botanist of the Guild. Yeah, precisely that moment. In, uh, what was it? In, in, Luz, Luda, Luz, Luda, no. Luca, Luca. That's it, Luca. After Yuna was captured by, I think, the, um, the Albat. And then they were walking and they were going into the Me and High Road. Oh dear lord. And there is a top scene, you get Oren back into the party and Oren tells you about your father being Shin. And then, you know, you kind of break in half and then Yuna just picks you up and says, you know, I am always sad but people don't want to see me sad. Buzz dubbing work ever, I know. Yeah. Seriously, why do I remember that stuff? Um, anyways. There we go. Well, this, guys, is not going to work. Seriously, I actually... I think I got it here for the Switch. Yeah, I do. I think I have it here for the Switch as well. I have to I was wrong. I, I got it for the PlayStation uh, 4, uh, Final Fantasy 10, and Final Fantasy 10 2, um, as well as Final Fantasy 12, the Zodiac Age, which I really felt they were great games. Um, yeah, that's true. Oh, you were you were referring to Final Fantasy 11? Um, what's going? I don't like it when they're just moving next to each other. I think this dungeon, unfortunately, is not going to happen. And yeah, I'll, I'll wait. Still couldn't deal with fun, just not for me. I liked it. Uh, why did I like it? Because they gave you certain freedoms to set it up. And if you set up your things properly, then it was actually fun to play. Um, okay. This um, is not going to happen. This dungeon. And it's no, no longer raining outside, so there's no justified means for me not walking my dogs. Uh, so, yeah. I think that this is where we need to start calling it. Because we're 20 minutes in and we're not even halfway filled. We've got one tank, one healer, which is most likely in our party. And yeah, it's not going to happen. So uh, let me tell that in the party, sorry guys. This isn't going to trigger. Uh, 
I need to walk the dogs and prepare for work. Works for me. You're doing some stuff. I'm doing festival. I'm bringing. Oh, that sounds good. Yep. But we're not going to do that right now. I don't like unsinking a dungeon the first time I'm doing it. I'll do it later, <laughs> but just not right now. So I want to thank everyone here uh, joining the party, helping me, doing everything. Also communicating with me. That's why I stream. I like talking. I talk a lot. I know that. I was sidetracked a lot. I was doing the um, the 2.2. MSQ was actually up for today and all I managed from the things I wanted to do was get a botanist and a miner the rest is all sidetracked so yeah thank you all and I uh, hope to see you next time now and um, tomorrow night I'm going to be doing vampire survivors because I will not have a lot of time to be sleeping I'm not going to be reading a lot so I'm going to be doing vampire survivors hopefully that's going to be fun as well and then I'll be back first day yeah, first day. Because Wednesday I need to be in bed, sleeping from my night shift. So that's not going to happen. First day, uh, Final Fantasy back. Anyways, have a good one, guys. Bye-bye.